Here we go then boys, back on the live stream with FIFA 23, Aston Villa have sacked Steven Gerrard, but they have welcomed in their new manager. This is the Unai Emery era at Aston Villa. We're going to do this live stream, might do a few of them, rebuilding Aston Villa as Unai Emery. So first things first, let's change his team. Let's move him over then to Aston Villa. We should have a decent budget to start. We're going to be playing on Legendary. I'm going to tell you how we're going to do this career mode. I'll be playing some games, not all of them. Three minutes. We'll keep Europa League uh, and Champions League on. No financial takeover. And we will disable international jobs. Here we go then. The Unai Emery era has begun. And it's going to be a good one, boys. Let's do this. FIFA 21, I did an absolute banging Aston Villa career mode. My first ever YouTube video on this channel for FIFA, and it got me here. So, let's crack on. Let's chuck that into a new save. We'll just save it as that for now. Let's go. Unai Emery is here. Unai Emery is here with Aston Villa. Let's do this. I'm up for this. Let me know in the comments as well, guys, if the video quality is all good. Let me know if the audio is good as well, just so I know that the stream is running well. And we'll crack on with the stream. I can see that Seth plays Warzone's in the stream. What's going on, bro? How you doing? Good. On this uh, Thursday night. I mean, Arsenal did just lose, so I'm a bit, bit annoyed. But it is what it is. Still top of the Europa League group. We'll take it. We'll take that um, pre-season tournament. It's the most money, so why would we not? If you're joining today, boys, I would really appreciate if you could share the video on your Twitter. Maybe get some more people to come over. If you could smash the like button for me, that would be great as well. So let's crack on and do this. I will need to do a few things, like a few training sessions and so on. But let's look at the Aston Villa team. I have done no prep for this career mode. No prep like I usually do for my videos for the live stream. So I have no idea what I'm walking into. And I haven't paid that much attention, if I'm honest, to Aston Villa this season so far. But I'm going to be paying attention now. Let's have a look at the squad and see what they're looking like. Now, Ollie Watkins is an absolute legend. An absolute legend on the channel. Watkins was a hero on the FIFA 21 career mode. He will definitely be playing up front for us. I'm not sure about Philip Coutinho. I might have to refer to some of you boys in the comments. He is a Steven Gerrard man, isn't he? And I have the feeling that Coutinho could leave could leave Aston Villa maybe come the summer. So we might move him on. Ramsey's definitely going to stay put. So is Bailey. Unlock that potential that this baller has. Finally, now we're here as manager. Buendia, I don't want to play him out wide. I prefer him more central. You've got McGinn, Douglas Luiz, who signed a new deal. After nearly signed for Arsenal. Cash, Concert, Mings, Luca Digna. And of course, Emmy Martinez, one of the best goalkeepers in the league in goal. Let's sort out the squad to start with. Uh, then Donker as well. Forgot that they signed him. Nakamba, he will be moved on. Callum Chambers, ex Gooner as well. Ashley Young. I hear that he's having a fantastic season for Villa so far. So I might keep hold of him, but he is, what, 35? Oh my god, I thought he was 33. He's 36. Damn, son. He's 36. Did not realise he was that old. Okay. And Danny Ings as well. 29 might be prime time to cash in on Danny Ings and bring in a new striker. Who else we got? Oh, we got Kamara. I forgot about him. He's injured at the moment. He'll probably come in. I'm going to put him on the bench ahead of Dendonka for the moment. Actually, I'm going to start Kamara. I think he's an incredible player. He'll be great when he comes back to full fitness. Diego Carlos as well. To be fair, Steven Gerrard, bad manager. Bad manager. But, but he did have some big injuries. We're going to bring um, Carlos straight in. Mings is the only left-footed centre-back we've got, so we're going to have to play him on his weaker side. I want to keep Konza in the team. There's a lot of reserves, by the way, that I'm going to be selling. A lot of reserves that we don't want. I mean, Sansond came over with all that potential and has done absolutely dog. Absolute dog so far from him. Archer is meant to be a really good young player. He's 20 years of age, so we'll see how we get on with him. Um, we've got Gilbert as well. I thought Gilbert used to play for, is it not new? No, it was Aston Villa. Of course it was. He hasn't played for a while though, Gilbert. So I might move him on as well. This is just me organising the squad. So it's not very entertaining. But it's got to be done. Because I've literally not prepared for this career mode at all. Just wanted to get, get straight into it on the stream, you know. I haven't streamed in, an, I think, 11 months. 9 months. 
nine or nine, ten, eleven months, something like that. It's been a while, and all these players with no faces, they'll be sold. They'll be moved on. Okay, it's decision time then. So that's the way I want the squad to look. I do want to keep the same formation. Or do I? Do I want to play with two sitting midfielders? No, I think we can play with one. Maybe move him into a, an attacking role and keep McGinn as a central midfielder of Kamara, the DM. I'm pretty happy with that. Let's have a look to see who we should sell. All right, let's go onto our squad hub. We've got to decide who's going. Who's going and who's coming in. Um, we'll go to squad hub. Guys, get in the comments. Let me know who's here and let me know who you want me to buy, who you want me to sell. I can see in there that we've got Tadebo. What a legend he was. FIFA 21, what a centre-back. Now, goalkeeper-wise, I'm happy with Martinez to start. Steer can be the backup for now until we've got, you know, need to move him on. These players can leave. Um, maybe you could get some money off of one of them, so probably loan this guy out and sell this one. Olsen. I forgot about Olsen. Actually, he will probably be back up, won't he? So I could probably sell Jed Steer, to be fair. He can move. And then we'll go to left back. We've got two left backs. That's okay for now. Courtney Hills is out on loan. We've loaned in Bednarek. Okay, so we didn't buy him. Interesting. We'll probably loan out some of these young players as well to get their overall up before selling them next season, maybe. Feeney as well looks like a good young player. Um, Tyrone Mings. What do we do with old Mingsy? What do we do with Mings? Might be time to cash in, do you think? Might be time to freshen up in that position. I'm going to let Tyrone Mings leave Villa. Big decision, that one. But I'm going to go with what I think's right, so he can go. Um, who else we got? Saying in the comments, sell McGinn. Wow, that would be a massive shout to sell Super John McGinn. He might be good enough for the bench, though. I agree, Nakamba, he can certainly be sold. Um, young, he's he's been playing well in real life, but he's 36, man. He's 36. I think mm, he might be a good squad player. I'll hold off on that for now. You guys are saying to sell McGinn. Do you not think it would be wise to at least keep him for the bench for at least the season? Let me know. If you really want him sold, I'll get him off the books. I'll move him on. There's multiple players. Sanson can leave. Emi Buendia will stay. Now, this is a big... Ne this next one's absolutely huge. And I don't know if you guys are going to agree. I think Danny Ings can go. I think we can definitely bring in another striker that can do better than Danny Ings. I also think I'm going to go ahead and do this as... Oh, do I keep Coutinho for one more season? Maybe I should keep Coutinho for one more season. That would maybe be a bit, bit silly to let him go now. I'll keep him for one more year. That makes sense. Now, we do need to obviously replace all of those players that we bring. Oh, look at Unai and his Aston Villa jacket. Big ups, Unai. Big ups to Unai. Um, let's see who they've suggested so far, our scouts. I mean, we've got promising there that's set up. So, any of these players. Egan Riley has gone to Burnley from Man City. He was meant to be a really, really good young player. We'll scout him up, I think. Raksaki as well from Palace. Uh, we'll, we won't look on him. Norton Cuffey from Arsenal. I'll leave that one. Siko Mara from Southampton. He's meant to be a really good young striker. We'll keep. We'll scout him. Broja might have no. Jao Pedro. That might be a good shout. I'll scout him. And then Sterling will leave. Let's see who else they found for us. I hate it when these still pop up all the time. I mean, I've been playing career mode since it came out and still get. Ooh, okay. I didn't know Alexis Vega was on the free agents. That's a new one to me. Wow. He would be a fantastic signing. He must be about 77, 78 maybe rated. Alexis Vega. We'll scout him up for sure. And no thank you. Not Jesse Lingard. Sell Ings, sell McGinn, Nakamba and Sanson. Then buy Tammy Abraham. That would be a banging signing. Tammy Abraham would be a great signing. I do agree with that one. We've got 78 mil. Jeez, Aston Villa be cooking. Okay. Okay. Uh, hello, I'm new. How are you? What's going on, um, ITZ Ye Gaming? What's going on, bro? Welcome to the uh, channel. How is it going, man? Welcome to the, the stream. We'll be going for a, at least, a, I think, an hour or so tonight, at least. Maybe longer, depending on how many people we get jumping on and how much Pop's chatting. Let's... Um, 
what was we doing? I'm losing track. I haven't streamed in like a year, so I'm... Ooh, not Wilfred Zaha. Thank you very much. What's going on, Joss Watson, my bro? How you doing, man? Welcome to the stream. Okay, um, 78 million, boys. We've got some money, like some big money to spend. So we better get spending it. We better get spending it. Let me know, guys, by the way, if the stream's um, looking all good. I can't see it. So I would really appreciate if you guys can let me know if the video quality is good or if it's really crap. You know, just let me know. That would be really appreciated. So let's crack on. Right. I'm going to have to do some training drills. I'm going to do the thing that I always do, which is let's go into the tactics before we get started. Because if I start playing, I'm going to... I always... This is my tactics. So I always go press pressure on heavy touch. The width, I drop down to a 45. So we're a lot more... Compact in the midfield and we drop quite a lot more as well to a 45 build up play I like that to be fast build up and I like um, Direct passing I like there to be plenty of width. Wow. Why is it set so low? We'll go 65 to be fair I could bump that up to 70 but I'll leave it for now players in the box I want players getting forward So we'll set that for that and then them to stay the same play our roles. Who do we get as captain? Who do we get as captain? Um, I think, do you know what, I'm going to go with my my favourite player in this team, and you guys will have to let me know, but I love Matty Cash, He, I think he's an incredible right back, I think he could play centre mid, I think he's such a good player, I'm going to put him, he's my captain, I don't know if he'd be Unai Emery's captain, or do I go, mm, or do I go with Martinez, you let me know in the chat, let me know in the chat boys, um, we'll go with left free kick, we'll go with um, Buendia, and then we'll go Bailey on this one. Long free kick, we'll go Buendia again. Pens will be Watkins. Corners will go with... Di oh, Dinya's good at free kicks, isn't he? I completely forgot about Luca Dinya. Uh, we might put him on the right ones then. Sorry, Bailey, but um, Luca Dinya's a boss. You guys are saying Martinez for captain. All right, I hear you. I hear you, chat. I've got you. Let's give it to Martinez then. We need Watkins to stay central. We want him to get in behind. And we want him to be aggressive. Stay forward. We want Bailey to get in behind. Stay wide. Whereas we want him to come short. And free roam as well. And then McGinn will be aggressive. And I also want Ramsey to be... Um, I want to stick in his position. I want to be aggressive as well though. And then Kamara can stay back. So he's a deep line playmaker. Cover the centre. And be conservative, stay back while attacking. That sounds good to me. Other than that, the wing backs, um, I don't want them both going flying forward. I prefer cash to go forward, so I'll leave that as balanced. Um, that one would be overlap. This side, we're going to do underlap. So inverted. All right, that's enough pissing about with the squad. Who else in the chat? We got um, Mini Tuba. What's going on? How you doing, bro? That's a good shout. Louise is incredible on corners, isn't he? What's his stats, though, in-game? What are his... I mean, he's on the bench, so I when he comes on, I'm, I'm sure I'll let him take them, but he is going to start on the bench, I think, for me. Let's go import. Import the one that we've just made and just put it um, as villains. Oh, dear, boys. It's been a while. It's been a while. It's good to be back on stream, though. I'm, I'm going to enjoy this tonight. Something a little bit different rather than being uh, sitting here editing all night. So it'd be nice. And um, we'll see how much we get done today. See how much you guys enjoy it. See how many views it gets, likes and all that good stuff. If you want to see me do more live streams, just smash the like button so I know that you're enjoying it. And I'll, uh, I'll make sure that I do more. Let's set that as the active team. Reset those players. And we'll leave that as our main team. We'll make a backup team in just a moment. Let's get into some more interesting stuff, which is transfers. I want to go outside the box. I don't want to just go with all the best young players in the game or all the players that you'd expect me to sign. I do want to go with signings that are a bit outside the box. And I want to get some ready-made players that are going to come straight in and are going to be pretty decent for us. So we'll do that. We have got a Youth Academy report. Now, I did pre-order the game, so I should have a Youth Academy star. Who are we going to get? This boy looks like he's the star. 81 to a 94 potential. Michael Moulton. 61 overall, 17 years of age, can play defensive midfield, central midfield, attacking midfield. He's an all-round midfielder, apparently. Five-star weak foot, four-star skills. He's not the fastest, but technically, 
again, he's, he's okay, technically. I'm hoping that that improves a lot. Let's have a look to see what would his best position be. This guy could be the McGinn replacement, ready-made. His shooting is good. My, he's got 76 finishing. He is not a centre mid. No way. No way is this kid a centre mid. Can I move him to a striker? Four weeks. He's a striker, lads. He's a striker. We may have found a big ball striker. Okay. Damn. Michael Moulton. Double M. Let's go. I'm happy with that. What about these other guys? I always like to change their positions because they're never set to the right one. He's got a lot of pace. He is definitely a winger. He is definitely a winger. I'll leave him on that. His passing needs to be improved, though, big time. Um, let's have a look at um, Luca Michel. Or Michel. He's got a lot of pace. Oh, we've got some pacey players here, boys. I'm going to switch him over to the right-hand side um, on the right wing because he's left-footed, and I like them to cut in. What about Suzuki? Let's have a look to see. Um, he, I think I'll let him go, to be fair. I'll probably release that player. Release him. We've got Dixon. I'm going to release him as well. And then goalkeeper Valencia. Let's have a look to see. We'll put him a sweeper keeper, see if he can improve. But Michael Morton is the one we're going to keep our eye on. Once he's changed to a striker, we'll see his overall and we'll make a decision if we're going to promote him straight away or not. Um, and then we now we, just, we want to get into transfers. So let's be real. What's our weakest position? Um, I'm going to say out wide. I mean, Ashley Young cannot be our backup. Buendia can't really play. I don't want him playing out wide. I really don't. I'd rather Emmy Buendia start. I'd rather Ramsey maybe play ahead of McGinn because you guys don't seem to be too keen on John McGinn. Um, we'll just chuck him out there for now. I know that's not his position. I mean, I know he's not going to be our starting player, but we'll put him out there. Who would you like me to sign to play out wide? I know people are saying put um, Watkins out wide and maybe sign Tammy Abraham. Tammy Abraham would be a great shout, but how much is he going to cost? Is he going to take a lot of our budget? Because I've got a feeling um, he's not going to be cheap, Tammy Abraham. I don't know what overall he is this year. I haven't actually looked at Tammy Abraham on FIFA 23. So we'll shortlist and scout. It's only a six-day job. 30 to 40 million. That's not too bad. Thank you for that info, bro. Um... Do you know what? There's a player that I really want to sign. There's two players I really want to sign. Okay, now one of them already plays in the Prem. And he's a monster. Um, he plays for Wolves. Adama, Adama, Adama Traore. Shall we sign Adama Traore? Or another option. Or do we get both of these players? A player that back in FIFA 14, FIFA 15... Was absolutely incredible. Like, incredible. And it's El Shaware. Do you remember this guy? I don't even know how you spell it, to be honest. Is it double A? Yes. Stefan El Shaware. He might be a really good stopgap player. If we're going to move Ashley Young on, we need someone to come in and do that job. Now, he is an absolute baller, mate. An unbelievable player. And he's going to cost us... I mean, we could get him for 7.2 million... That would be an absolute steal. I've seen in the chat as well that you're saying um, loan out Ramsey and Archer because they both need a season in the championship. It's not a bad shout. I think Archer will go out on loan. I like that idea. I think I'd like to keep Ramsey around though. Noni Maduk is a really good player. Martin Terreira or Terrier from Rennes. Yeah, he's a decent player as well. I'll have a look at him. We definitely need a winger. I think there's a few players that you've suggested so far that I like. Um, do you know what though? Adama's shouting to me. That would be my preferred option. But what do you guys think? Would you like me to scout these players first? Or would you quite like me to sign um, Adama Traore? You have to let me know. What I will do is I don't think I did it before. Which is with that striker. Which is Cameron Archer. We'll let him leave on loan. I think that's a good shout. We've transfer listed Danny Ings, so we need a new striker, definitely. I think it probably will be Tammy Abraham. You guys seem to really want him. So I think that's not a bad idea. Um, is there any other strikers that you'd like me to maybe sign? Maybe ones for the future, like Benjamin Shishko, maybe. He might be a good shout, 19 years of age. Could definitely give him a little shout. Pau Torres, that's an unbelievable shout. If he's a left-footed centre-back, then I'm all over that, bro. That's a great idea. 
Pau Torres, and he is a left-footed centre-back. That is a shout. I love that. Armando Broja. Yeah, that's a good shout as well. Yeah, Danny Ings in real life is still a great player, but on the career mode, he's 29. This is when we're going to get the most for him. It might be a good idea to let him go. I'm going to have to do some of these trainings. I'm not going to do them very well because I'm going to have to rush through them because I don't want it to be boring. But I do need to do some of them, otherwise the player's sharpness is going to be absolutely terrible, lads. We dink this one over. First touch. Coutinho. Finish, son. The Unite Emery era has begun. In the training ground. And Coutinho's looking sharp already. I don't know how much I'm going to play Coutinho. We'll have to wait and see as the career mode goes on, I think, with him. He's done Ings now, driving forwards. And what the? Why did he not give me a chance to get the ball in the box there? Danny Ings whips that one in. It's towards the back stick when no one's in there. I'd like to at least get a C on some of these, tra on these training drills. That's a good ball, that. Bring that down. Oh, Bailey, love that, son. Great effort. Ball over. Out wide. Bailey again. He's going to be key to this team. And Martinez makes a brilliant save. Pop this one out wide. That's a heavy ball. Might get a chance for Bailey to cut in. Oh, look at the finish on that one. What a baller. Out wide again. Can we swing this one towards the back stick? It's a great ball cross. Actually, no, it's not. It's a bad ball cross. But we've got the A. We'll play the next draw as well. Also, shout is Gerard Moreno. Inacios, um, Simican, great ideas, to be fair. Really good ideas. I like that a lot. Oh, I did not look at the screen, so I did not know that the training drill started. I don't like this drill. I always seem to miss the ball. Oh, well done, Cash. Love that, son. Love that. Impressing the manager early doors is Matty Cash. He's going to be my vice captain. You guys pick the captain, which is Martinez. But Matty Cash is my vice. I like Matty Cash, one of my favourite players. Wendy up. Oh, come on, intercept all these. Let's get these drills done. Early doors. And I'm going to advance the dates and get some of these transfers done. Oh, yes, Esri Conso, you monster. I'm going to really rely heavily on him this season as well in the career mode. I need him to be on top form from the beginning. If I'm going to achieve what I want to achieve. There's Europa League action on tonight, boys. Arsenal lost already, which sucks for me because obviously I'm an Arsenal fan. But it's all good. Still top of the group. Got Zurich at home next week. Should win that one. Happy days. Forest on the weekend. Although they did beat Liverpool, Nottingham Forest, didn't they, last weekend? So Arsenal need to be careful. Did draw against Southampton. Weren't great against Leeds. we got to keep up that form if we want to make the top four. I don't expect us to remain up the top of the league. That's Man City's position. Let's be real. We all know what's going to happen with that. But Aston Villa, let me know in the chat as well, boys. Who do you think is actually going to... Um, no, sorry. Where do you think Aston Villa are going to finish this season now Unai Emery has come in? How good do you think he's going to do in real life? And where do you think Aston Villa will finish this season? Now, let me see your predictions in the chat. And do you think they're going to sign any big players in January with Unai coming in? I can't imagine he's going to come in with a small budget because he did get offered the Newcastle job, remember, at one point, and he declined it. Before Eddie Howe, he was the favourite, and he declined it, and they must have offered him good money. So... Aston Villa must be saying, you know, we got that cheese, bro. We've got that cheese for you to spend in January. And I'm sure he's going to spend it wisely. He might even bring in someone like a Pau Torres. Or from um, Billy Rao's Jeremy. Jeremy Pino, great player. What a signing that would be for Villa. Arsenal tried to get him in the summer. But I think he was too expensive. 50 million, I think they wanted. I did really bad there. Just missed literally every gap. Oh my god, who is this on the ball? He feels terrible. Is this Danny Ings? Oh my god, he's really not good on the ball, whoever that is. I hope that that's not Buendia. But this is what I'm talking about. Ramsey feels fresh on the ball. Right, there we go. Training drill's done. Sorry about that, lads. Sorry about that. Bit boring, I know, but we've got to get them A's. Got to get them A's in. Let's catch up with the chat. Sorry, I've been trying to concentrate. 15th to 10th. 12th to 11th. Okay. Interesting. I thought you might say a bit higher. Okay, here we go. Here we go. This is what we like. This is what I like. The transfers. Let's do this. Okay, so. Who's going where? Sanson. Two offers here. Newcastle offering 7.7. 8.1 from, I think that's Hoffenheim. Okay, how much could we get up to 8.2? And then Mings. We've had an offer for 11.5. Let's negotiate these. 
let's try and get as much money as we can for these kind of deals. Let me know what the audio is like as well, boys. Is the game too loud or am I too loud? Let me know so uh, I can adjust it. If it sounds good, maybe put a thumbs up in the chat just so I know it's all good. Right, Eddie Howe is in the office. Let's see if we can get... What do you reckon? Should we ask 8.5? 8 8 that might be a bit greedy. I might have gone a bit greedy there. 7.7. .7. Can I get... 8.2 out, 8 .2 out of you? That's what they... I was being told by in the boardroom. 8.2! I'm happy to sell him for that. Absolutely happy to sell him for that. Would love a Carlos and Torres partnership. Moreno up front. Not a bad shout, but Moreno is getting on. I believe it. He must be. In, he's definitely in his 30s, right? Um, and to be fair, we'll accept the Hoffenheim one. It's only 100k less. I'm not too worried about that. Uh, Tyrone Mings. I think we can get a bit more money for him as well from Sevilla. So let's try it. Got to try and get as much money as we can. Let's propose... Um, should we say for 30, ask for 13 million from Sevilla? They might go with that. And they will. 13 million. See? Come on. I know how to do business. Come on. I know how to do business, boys. Yeah, I want to sell uh, Mings. He's 29. I don't fancy him, to be honest. I want to upgrade. We're not going to be playing all the games. We're going to be simming quite a lot of the games so we can get through at least a season tonight. I'm hoping anyway, depending on um, how long this takes. But we'll see where we go. Just tell all these boys to... Uh, Shut up and crack on, will we? Will we are? Now transfers. Have we had... We haven't had any scout reports back yet, I don't believe. So we're probably going to have to wait a few more days. Um, I don't know whether to just go get someone like El Shuare. Because he'd be, I think he'd be a great signing. Or Traore. I don't want to miss out on these players. I think Traore would be a good idea. He's Prem ready. We don't know how much he's going to be though, do we, at the minute. Maybe we have to wait for that. Or do I go get El Shuare? I could go get both, to be fair. One could be on the bench. One could start. It's not the worst idea, at least for season one. What do you think on El, El Shuare? Jay plays. What's going on, bro? How you doing? Long time. Um, Pau Torres. He was going to be... I think he'll be our big money signing. Let's go for it. Let's go for it. Right. Okay, big one. Here we go. Let's see what we get, boys. If you can smash that like button if you're here, I would really appreciate it. It really helps me out. If you can do that for me, it just takes two seconds to hit the like button. It would really help me out. This is going to be a chunk of our budget, by the way, but we need a new centre-back. We have got to get a new centre-back. We're going to go at 45 mil. He might be too expensive, Pau Torres, at this stage. Oh, 45 mil! Now that is an absolute bargain. Pau Torres, what a signing. I thought they'd won about 50-55. Damn! I'm happy with that. Very. And we're going to get about, what, 10, 12 million back from, for Mings as well. He's a direct replacement. What a signing. This would be our first signing as well for Unai Emery and Aston Villa. I'm happy with that. I'm not going to lie. He's got a face scan. He's got the lot, boys. 37 grand a week. He's going to be crucial. Definitely going to be crucial. Four-year deal, we'll counter and just ask for a five. Bit of security on him. Now, what I would like to do in this career mode, I would like to have release clauses on players. So, especially players that I sign from other countries. Players that I sign from the Prem, I'll probably keep with no release clause, but other country players, I might put a release clause on. So, I mean, he's a great player. What if we put him on a 90 million release clause? He's happy with that, cool. And we can always change that later down the line. 76k a week. Um, I think we could maybe get him on less than that. Let's go 70. Signing bonus is very high. Let's go half a million. That's not too bad. Um, and then appearances. Let's just let's remove that bonus. Let's see if he'd take that. I don't think that's the worst offer. I hope that that doesn't break the deal. He wants 79k. He wants 680 I don't want to lose the deal, but I think he's taking the piss a little bit. 550 and 79k. Sign the team. There we go. Our first signing, Pau Torres. He took over half the budget, but once we sold Sanson and Mings, 
We'll be back to about half of what we started with. That's not bad. That's not too bad. I'm pretty happy with that. Pau Torres. Here he is, boys. Ooh, hoo, hoo. our new centre back. Diego Carlos, Pau Torres, Matty Cash, and Luca Dinha, and Martinez in goal. That back five, including the keeper, of course. That's good. That is really good. Let me know what you think in the comments. I really like that. I think that's decent, what we've done now. You have to let me know, though. Do you like what I'm doing? Or don't you? You let me know. Pau Torres, he's not number 13. I'll change that number. What kit number should we give him? I don't know what numbers are available. Maybe when Mings leaves. I'm not sure what number Mings is, though. Yes, pal. You take in the paparazzi, my G. Transfer in. Aston Villa, 45 million. Villarreal to Villa. Pau Torres. Pau to Did they give me an F for that transfer? I really hope that that was... That's not an F. That is a joke if that is an F. That was a bargain. We'll put him straight in at centre off. Centre off. Straight in there, son. Ahead of Mingzi. Sorry, mate. And I think ahead of Concer as well. I'll probably play them. That as a back. Oh, my bad. Probably play that as my back line. What is it doing? The menus on FIFA 23 suck at the minute. They need to sort that out. Um, we've got to go get a, le a left sided player, lads. We've got to. Before I forget, though, we're going to change his number. Otherwise, we end up playing the whole, the whole season with a number 40 or 13 or whatever it was. So, where is he? A new centre off. Pau Torres. Kit number. Sorry, Mings, but you're on the way out. We've got a new number five. Do you want me to sign Adama Traore? Or do you want me to have a look at... I don't want to go get everybody from Villarreal. So, Danjuma would be an incredible player. But I don't want to go get everybody from Villarreal. Because that would be a bit bit harsh to go and just take all their players. I don't mind getting maybe two of their players. So I will add Danjima. I d I'm not going to get any more though after that. So that would be the two. We'll shortlist him as well. Also want to scout Pino, Jeremy Pino. Um, because if we don't get Danjima, it'll probably be Jeremy Pino that we get. He was 19. Sign Abraham. Yeah, we're going to definitely have a look to sign in um, Tammy Abraham. We just need to make some more money first because we're not going to be able to afford him yet because... We've only got 22 million now, so we need to make sure some players leave. We basically have got to sell some players. I'm going to have to do some more training drills as well, unless I just keep chucking them on the same ones I've done, which I could just do that, to be fair, just to save a bit of time. I can do some others later, maybe. But I do need the players to get sharp ahead of the new season. We need a good start. Hopefully, I can try and get Villa into the top 10 in the first season, and then into Europe. And then we'll go from there, trying to build them into a real giant in Premier League and Champions League, hopefully. Noni Maduk, that's a shout. That's an absolute shout. Even someone like Xavi Simmons is a shout, isn't it? From um, PSV. Him tonight was great. Watching him was incredible tonight. Really enjoyed watching him. Xavi Simmons and then Noni Maduk or Madueke, however you pronounce it. I say Maduk. But that's just me. Sunset for striker is a good shout. I'll scout him. Although I do, I'm not going to lie, I do prefer um, the Tammy Abraham one. But maybe we should wait on Tammy until we get in the Champions League or something. But would Tammy really come to Villa right now? We probably could go to a Champions League club. Maybe we should hold off on that one. Let's advance the time. We should get a few scout reports back soon. Transfer for Danny Ings. Mitrovic, that's a good idea. Matt W, I like that, bro. Thank you. That would be a good signing for Villa. It's Danny Ings then. They're offering me a swap deal. Ooh, Villarreal. Una Emery's ex club, Capu and 1.9. We don't want Capu or Capue, but we do want some of your other players. So let's negotiate. Let's see if we can get Danny Ings in a swap for one of the wingers that we want. Now, because I haven't really scouted them, I'm not I can't remember if it shows you. Um what their overalls are. It does. That's nice. And how much they're worth. Danjum is 82 overall. Worth 31.5 million. Chuck Wazy as well. He's a great player. He's rapid. Jeremy Pino. Oh, I like Jeremy Pino. He looks good. We could go... What do you think, boys? Jeremy Pino, Danjum or Chuck Wazy. I think all of them would be good. But you guys need to choose which one. 
Chuck Wazy, Dan Jama, or Jeremy Pino? Let me know in the comments and I'll have a look, see what majority are saying. If you're new to the channel, I'd really appreciate you subscribing. If you're enjoying today's live stream, be a lot more coming. Loads of videos coming as well, as always, obviously. I see Dan Jama in the chat. He's the oldest of the lot. He's 25, 82 overall. Chuck Ways is 23, 79. And Yerin Pina is 79 and 19. Danjima. Danjima? Okay. Let's try and get him. Um, I don't know if they're going to do this deal. I really don't think they will. I wish I could then offer money. Do you know what I mean? I wish I could say, actually, I want Danjima. You want Ings. And I'll give you a bit of money because Danjima's better. I don't think they're going to go with this deal. I really don't. Might as well try it, though. No, they don't want to do that. They said, jog on. Unai Emery, you used to work for us, mate, but you're not getting that deal. Fair enough. We'll try and sell Danny Ings to somebody else. Luca Dinya for $29 million. I don't want to sell Luca Dinya at this season. So that'll be a no. I'll block offers as well. There's no point because I won't be accepting them. Tyrone Mings. Looks like he could be off to Sevilla. Um... If we can get Labour Cousin on board at 13 million, they can have a go at getting him as well. We want 13 mil if you want him, lads. You can fight it out. They're happy to meet that as well. Labour Cousin and Seville will fight it out for Tyro Mings. Dinya's not going anywhere. Sanson could be off to Newcastle or Hoffenheim. And Ings, we're still waiting for an acceptable offer to come through for him. Uh, 37 million for Martin Terrier. We'll leave him. I think we'll let him go, lads. Um, that'll be okay for now. Surely we've got a scout report back now for um, Adama. Surely. What are my scouts doing? Go transfer hub. How long does it take? I thought we only had like six days. It's surely been six days, no? Jesus, lads. You need to get your finger out and get some scouting done. Come on, man. I need these players. Really need these players. What is everybody doing at the minute? Are you all playing FIFA 23? Why are watching this? Are you watching telly and watching this? Or are you just watching this? Let me know. And if you're doing career mode, let me know what career mode you're doing as well. What teams you're playing with. And if it's your team or if it's just another team. Always want to know what you guys are up to in the chat. Simulate these drills. We need to get some of our reserve players on some drills as well. You're doing your Villa career mode. Oh, here we go. Okay. That deal's done. Unai Emery says goodbye to Sanson. Bye-bye. You did nothing in your Villa career. So jog on, mate. Off you pop. See you later. Off he goes. Peace. Yeah, get out. He's gone to Newcastle. So we may come up against him in the Prem. We got, we got a D. He's worth 7 million. We've got 8.2. They think we could have got 10.5. No way. What a load of shit. What a load of shit. Honestly. Dear God. Oh, Ryan Kent has gone to Bournemouth. What a signing that is. Always oh, another. And Tyro Mings. Bye bye. Bye bye. Off he goes. But where did he go? It's not going to tell me. Okay, cool. Thanks for that. Tyro Mings left. He went to Sevilla. £13 million. Interesting. Got some emails. Here we go. I forgot about this player. Alexis Vega on the free agents. He's 77 overall. Free agent. Whew. That is a... Sh Should I get him just for a free agent? I don't see how I can pass up on that, lads. I don't see how I can say no to that. That would be incredible signing. Free agents. Wow. Tammy Abraham. They're going to want a hefty price for him, aren't they? It's my only worry with Tammy Abraham. Bad enough for him for Steer. 1.2. Just going to accept that. Danny Ings. Arsenal! If I was an Arsenal fan... Well, I am an Arsenal fan. If I was, if that happened in real life, I wouldn't be against that as a backup striker, you know? I mean, it's not the best signing ever, but I wonder if I can get some more money for that. I might see if I can get some more money for him. Can I get 18 and a half? 
18 and a half, come on. 16.3. Count up. We don't want the sell on clause. Can we get 18? Come on, Arsenal. Come on. Unai used to manage you. He did a crap job, but he did used to manage you. Yes! 18 million! Let's go! We'll take that. Danny Ings, thank you, mate. Great player, but we are looking to the future, and unfortunately, you will not be a part of it. Sorry. Tammy Abraham might be, though. I'm going to get Alexis Vega, I think. He's free, so why would I not? Even if he's a backup player, it's a great signing. And that can allow us to maybe bring in some other positions as well. He'll come in as an important. He'll be a rotation off the bench. Let's give him a four-year deal. Wage-wise, he's only on 62 grand, which is all right. We're going to count on. We are going to give him a release clause. Now, he's 77 overall. Actually, do you know what? I don't even know how much he's worth, so I'm probably not going to give him a release clause. That might be a bit silly. Um, and how much should we give him wage-wise? 66k? And then give him 200k to sign, add a bonus, get 10 goals. You can have 300k and all. I'm being generous! Yes, there we go. We've got our free agent. What a signing. What a signing. Vega from the free agents. I never knew he was on free agents, but I'll take it. I will take that. Welcome to the stream, everyone. If you can smash the like button, it takes two seconds. It would really help me out. Helps the channel grow. And uh, if you're new, subscribe and all that good stuff. Be good to see some new names in the chat. We've already got some new names. If you want to drop some transfer suggestions, we've just started the transfer business. So I'm open to, uh, to suggestions. It's all good. Alexis Vega signs. Free agents. That's got to be an A. It costs me nothing. Hey, we got an A. Thank God for that. We'll take that. Signed Denny as a free agent. That's not a bad idea. I don't mind that. That's a good shout. I don't want to try it. Why has he not been scouted yet? It should not take that long to scout a Premier League player. I, I, I swear it's... A, it must, they must only have like one or two days left. We'll, we'll try and sign Tammy Abraham. But we, need, we need to raise funds if we do that. Oh, there's another player. What the hell? I swear Tyrone Mings has already left. Wait. Am I losing my mind? I swear Tammy Abraham... Uh, Tammy Abraham. I swear Tyrone Mings already left. No? What the? He's gone to Leverkusen. Wait, has the game sold him twice? That'd be so funny. I don't know what happened there. Let me know in the chat if you can skip back and check for me. Because I swear he was sold. I might be completely wrong, but I swear we sold him. Kavrat Skilia might try and sign him in season two. I might do. Uh, Sunset, that was a good idea. That's a good shout, you know. That looks like a... Benjamin Seascott's a 72 over. I thought he was higher than that. Oh, I don't think I'll go for him. Javi Simmons, I still might move on him. We do want to bring on Danjima, but he's going to cost a lot of money. I don't know if we're going to be able to sign him and Tammy Abraham. So it's either Danjima or Tammy Abraham. And I think Tammy might be a little bit more important. Let me know what you think. Jao Pedro. That's a... Wow! 3.9 million! What? Seriously? Wow! Bro! That's a nuts... That is nuts! How much is Javi Simmons? 13. Um, 14 million for Adama. That's a bargain. 14 million... Tammy could cost us about 50. So that's what, 65 or so. How much have I actually got left? 48. We still would need to sell some more players. Who else are we looking to sell? Jed Steer. He's hopefully going to go to Rangers. Um, who else have we got to sell, lads? <sighs> Not much, because I'd like, I'd like to keep some of the rotation players around. Nakamba, he'll be going. 
I could probably sell Ashley Young now, to be fair. But I could also... Have I got a backup left wing back? Or a left back? I think I have. Yeah, I have. I could definitely let Ashley Young go. It's probably going to be... You know, he's probably not going to have many more years left, so I might as well get some money for him now. Tommy O'Reilly can leave on loan. I'm going to keep Ramsey. I know you said to loan him out in the chat, but I think keeping him would be a good idea. Sign Cisco and loan him out could be a good idea as well. I don't mind. Oh, that's quite a good idea. Then Donka. I don't know where to keep. I might I'll probably keep him. What do you want me to do with Coutinho, by the way? Do you want me to keep Coutinho or do you want me to sell him and bring someone young in, like Javi Simmons or something like that? I could do that if you if you want me to change Coutinho. Or you want me to keep him for the first season, let me know. Keep. I can see in the chat one, at least one person wants me to keep him. Sell. Okay, so it's a split. It's a split at the minute. Is that Danny Ings leaving? Nope. Who's that? Is that Jed Steer? Yes, yeah, Jed Steer. Bye bye. Off you go. To Rangers. 1.2 mil. Every day. Cheers, mate. Should I go big? Should I go split? How is that an F? I'm sorry, but I'm not going to get more than that for Jed Steer, am I? Should I just go and get Tammy Abraham? Splash the cash. I've definitely got the money to do it. Um... 15, oh, I've, got, I've only got 50. Maybe I should wait till I've got a little bit more. How's, is this lad not done yet? I thought it was only four weeks. Okay, two more weeks to go with that one. We'll advance the time a little bit more. I will need to do another training drill or two in a minute. What's going on here? Oh, Danny Ings, he's off. He's off, he's off. He's off to Arsenal. We've got 18 minutes. Now we can definitely get um, Tammy Abraham. Now we can definitely get Tammy. Should we go get Tammy now, boys? 69 million? Or should we go have a cheaper striker? So we can keep Watkins as the main striker. And bring in a younger striker to back up it. Like Cisco. Sheesh call. Or would you rather Tammy? Could always come back for Tammy in season two. And then loan out Shishko for season two. What do you think? Could get Sunset. Jao Pedro even. Could do that. It's a difficult one, this. Because I want Tammy, but I do so realise he's going to take most of my budget and I could spend that across four other players. What do we do? Let me know in the chat. S sign Tammy or sign one of the younger ones like Cisco, uh, Shishko or... Sunset or Jao Pedro. If you want Danjima, I won't be able to get Tammy. I won't be able to afford both because one's 50, one's 30. I haven't got 80 million. So I'll have to go with one, not the other. I'm not going to go too unrealistic and just buy everybody. I've got Tammy in there. Someone said Danjima. Another Danjima, Danjima, who can, he can play striker as well. So maybe we get one of the other strikers and Danjima. Why don't we try and do that, maybe? Let's go get Shish... Oh. Right, let's get Danjima first, because you guys want him. He's going to cost me a pretty penny. So let's go buy him. We want to negotiate. We don't want to pay his full fee. Come on in. This will be our second signing for Unai Emery off of his former club. We'll go in at 31 million. Well, actually, we'll put we'll put a bit more bonus. We'll put 31.5, which is his base value. They want Konza. We don't want Konza to leave, do we, lads? So who do we suggest? Who can we get rid of? Don't think there's really anybody, is there? We're quite low on depth. We could let someone like Nakambo be in the deal and see if we can get a bit of money off. We'll go up to 35.5. They don't want Nakamba. 
They want 35.6, so I can get him even cheaper than what I thought I could. I'll go 34.5. 34.9 and a 5% for Deal. Let's do it. That's a bargain. Another banging signing, boys. Loving it. Great deal. Right, let's negotiate this. Unai, 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 Emery, Unai, Unai. I'm selling Coutinho in mine. I'm selling Coutinho. I don't rate him. He might be good for season one, though, lads. No? He wants to be crucial. That's fair. Four years. I don't want to sign too many players. And make it, you know, just really ridiculous. It's not completely... Real well, football isn't... There's no such thing as realistic in football. Football is absolute, absolutely mental. 77k a week. Offer him half a mil, which is a lot. To be fair, actually, I'll... yeah, let's do that. Let's just get the deal. I don't want to ruin the deal. God, he's a greedy bastard, isn't he? He wants a lot of money. He wants 600k. He can have 600k. There we go, 79k a week. Ings, Mings, Coutinho, McGinn. Um, I don't rate him. Gonna sell everyone that's dead wood. Yeah, makes sense, bro. Makes sense. Well, we've got a new signing, boys, and it's the one you wanted. It's Dan Jamar. What we'll be doing is we'll be simming most of the matches, but we'll be we'll play some of the some of the games that that I want to jump into. Uh, change Bailey to a left wing. Yeah, I'm gonna do that for you now, man. Dan Jamar, thirty four point nine million. That's got to be at least a B. That's a good signing. Oh my god! This game. Don't rate my signings, clearly. What a load of crap. Right. I'm going to use Danjima out wide. I do want to still bring in a striker. That's the for damn shot. So I'll still do that. We are quite light, aren't we, on the bench? Of, we, need, we need more attacking players. Vega, don't forget, he can play up front as well. What's his finishing? 73. It's more of a winger, isn't it? Okay. That's interesting. We definitely need to bring in another striker. Because at the minute we're very low. Like, very low. So I definitely want to bring in another, another striker. That'll be my next thing. Yeah, if we get Birmingham in the cup, I'll definitely play that if they get promoted. So, we're going to leave Tammy Abraham for next season then, lads, yeah? We'll come back to that next year. Now, it's either... I really... I don't know why, but I really want to sign El Shawaro. We don't need another winger right now. It's not a priority, is it? Let's go for Jao Pedro. He's very cheap. Sunset's pretty cheap as well, but I think Jao Pedro would be a great, great signing. So, let's go get him. And he's really cheap. Really cheap. Let's offer 3.5 million. 3.5 million! That's a steal! I cannot believe that. I don't know what potential he's got, but he's got to be at least like 83, 84, I'd imagine, minimum. Get Sit Simon, Cisco, and Pedro line out the last two. Yeah. I do need, I need it, but I need a backup striker, so I'm going to have to keep Jao Pedro because I won't have a backup striker. I need to keep, I need to keep him if we sign him. He'll be rotation. He's happy of that. Four years. I know it looks like I've downgraded on Danny Ings, but for the future, definitely not. Let's just give him 150. I'm happy of his wage. There we go, Jao Pedro. Signs with Unai. Unai's getting the deals done. I do wonder if in come January we'll look back and see if any of these transfers happen. If they do, you have to find the stream, come back and leave a comment on the uh, on the video. Alright, another big deal for us. That was 3.5 million. That was a st We've got some really good deals. 
That's got to be at least... Oh, how is that? All right, whatever game. Whatever game. We've got to keep some of these players. I do want to loan some of them out, like you said. Um, I definitely need to keep some of them. Otherwise, we're not going to have a bench, are we? Do you have a backup right back? Cash is good, but you don't want his fitness being bad. Uh, Cab uh, yeah, Chambers can play there. Gilbert can play there. So we've got the, the necessary backup that we need to to rotate. I could probably sell one of them. James Donaldson, how you doing, bro? Welcome to the stream. Sorry if I've missed any of your chat, boys. Um, uh, uh, Tom, Tom P, or is it Tommy P Y? 1236. What's going on, bro? Sorry, I missed your chat. Um, the players I'm signing are Danger Mapatoz and Ye um, Jeremy. Just catching up with the chat. Okay. Let me just look at this squad for a moment. Let me assess the villains for a moment. Yeah, Ashley Young can play left back as well. He can play left mid or left wing back or left back. Then Donkas, he could. Play, I don't know why they've only got him as centre mid because he can play centre up, centre back as well. Okay, right, interesting. So we've got enough rotation at centre half. We've got Konza, Dega Carlos, Torres, Chambers, and Bednarek. Even though Bednarek's on loan, that's okay. Are you doing it realistic? I'm trying to keep it semi-realistic. I'm not going to... I mean, I'm going to try and sign players I want to sign, but I'm not going crazy. Like, I think, realistically, Danjima could go to Villa because they've probably got the money to afford him. So could Pau Torres. They're both from Villarreal to June Una, Una Emery. That's not unrealistic. Vega was a free transfer. Can't be unrealistic. He hasn't got a club. And then Jao Pedro. I think that's a realistic deal. I mean, it was very cheap. In, in rule, I think they want 30 million for him, Watford, but we got him for free. 3.5 million, I think it was, that, which is crazy. I still feel like we, we could get another winger, because if you look on the reserves, we've barely got anything. Vega was a free signing. Even if we don't really use him and we sell him next season, it's still a good deal. How much money have we got left? Still got 25 million. I do want to get all the transfers done soon. So we could make sure we get all them done. I could always... like. I only have a deal what I'm thinking... Mara's 69 rated, probably not good enough. The only... I could loan... What? Right, let me know in the chat. What do you think about this? Sign Javi Simmons, loan out Jacob Ramsey. So, so Javi Simmons plays and gets up... He's our overall eye. And also we get um, Jacob Ramsey's overall going up if he gets a good loan. Leon, Bumberclat, Bailey. You don't know about that, Spade. You don't know about that. Bumberclat, Bailey, man. Definitely chuck him in. We're going, oh, yeah, you wanted me to check. I won't forget, I'll change into a winger. We'll let this, that keeper go. He can go. What's Ramsey's overall? I think it's 76, is it? 75. So I could try and loan him out to a low-prem team, like like a lower-prem team, like Forest or something. Loan him out, bring in Javi Simmons. I'm not against that. I think that's. An, I think that's a good. I think that'd be long term for the career mode. If we do two or three seasons, I think that's a good idea. So I could definitely do that. Jerby Simmons, thirteen point eight mil. Don't really need another striker now. I'll keep Shishko on there. There's just a future. I'll remove Pino. Oh, it's difficult, boys. Do I want to do that, or do I want to just keep? Just play Jacob Ramsey, because let's be honest, he's a great player in real life. Should I just bring in another winger? So I've got plenty of depth out wide. Because I've got Danjima, Bailey, and Watkins can play out there as well. Yeah, I could do it in January. I could definitely do it in January. Do, what do you think then? Should we just leave the squad as it is, or should we make one more signing? Should we leave the squad as it is till January? Or should we do another signing? What, what are we saying? Maybe just get rid of those four non no face players. Maybe loan out Archer, promote our youth academy player. I could probably let Gilbert go. To be fair, um, I don't want the I don't want to have a tiny squad, but I don't need a big one because we've not got Europe. So I can cut the squad down this season, ready for next year. Hopefully, we'll get Europe. I doubt it, but we might get Europe in season two. Let's go. Yeah, loan Archer. So I've got him. I've got Archer on the loan list. These are my two strikers for the season. Then my Youth Academy striker, who will be our third choice for the cup games. 
We've got Vega as a winger. We've got um, Buendia can play there, but I'll probably convert him full time as I can now. I need to put them on training um, performance development plans, don't I? All the players, I forgot to do that. I'll do that in a moment. Let me just do this one so I don't forget. We want him as a right winger, don't we? Um, what else was I doing with this team? Don't think Ashley Young could get many games. To be honest, he'll play as a wing back when he does play. Some of you saying get Dan Jamal as a striker. But I want I do want to sign Tammy Abraham next season as the striker, maybe. And I don't want to have Watkins, Dan Jamal, and Tammy all up front and Jal Pedro. I'll buy a backup right back. With to be fair, I don't really need to even buy a backup right back because Callum Chambers can play there. So I'll sell Gilbert, but look, Chambers can play right back, so he can play centre back, right back, centre. So he's a good rotation player. So that's I'll probably keep that. Move Watkins to the wing. I could do. I could give him, or I could give him till January, see if he's scoring goals, and then maybe change him over. Let me know what you think. But if you want me to change him, and that's popular in the chat, I'll go with it. But if you get me sacked, that's on you. Um, let's do these training drills. Uh, the development plans, I mean. Development, these players. Does this player... Who is he? He's on loan. Augustinson. Didn't even know Villa had, had this guy. Stopper. I like to put them on stopper because it always increases their sprint speed. And on this game, recovery runs as a centre-back is absolutely massive. I want to improve his defensive ability, Matty Cash. He's a deep playmaker. Anchorman, Anchorman. What should we put? Oh, Danjima, we need to make him a winger, don't we? Left wing. And then we've got Vega. Where did we get up to? I don't even know where we got up to now. There. We've got Ashley Young, he's on a left wing back. Box to box is then Donka. I want him to be a playmaker. He's a box to box. I'll probably sell John McGinn next year. And I'll probably sell Coutinho. Inverted. Poach up. So look. Adili Bug. Watkins is a city lad. <laughs> Spade game, what position are you looking for? I'm not sure. Any suggestions you want to put in the chat? I'll show you the squad in a moment. And you can, um, the chat, you can get involved again. If you want me to sign anyone else. Or if you don't want me to sign anybody, that's cool. And we'll get cracking towards the season. We'll just sell some players and build up some cash ready for January. I'm going to be simming a lot of the season. We've got, we've got Nonny Maduka. Oh, he's 77 overall already. What a player. He's injury prone though. He's injury prone on this FIFA. That's not good. That's not good. I really want to sign Javi Simmons. Or do I sign another winger? I definitely think I want to sign someone else this summer. Do I sign Traore, El Shaware, or Javi Simmons? That's the three options. Tell me what you want. Just tell me what you want. Nakamba, 4.75 mil. Do you know what? I'm just going to accept that. Newcastle are buying all of our crap players. So thanks, Newcastle. All that Saudi money going on the crap players. I'm here for that. That's fine with me. Simulate all these training drills. Hopefully we get some of these players moving. I see Simmons. So you, that's that's a good choice. Javi Simmons coming in. I probably would... Would I have loan out? Yeah, I think loaning out Jacob Ramsey makes sense if I get Javi Simmons. Right, some of the rubbish players are leaving now. Ibrahimovic for a season. Be scenes, wouldn't it? Ibra up top for the season. Get on the end of that, lad. Back post, Ibrahimovic comes in. Camber's definitely gone now, thank God for that. I swear that was a glitch earlier when Tyra Mings went to two teams. 
I don't know if we got two lots of money for him, but he definitely went to, to two teams. Oh, I didn't mean to reject that, my bad. That keeper's gone. Aha! Okay, so this is Mitch. Oh, it's not the guy that I was hoping for, but he's changed position. He's gone. Still a 756. I don't think he's going to really be any good, but we'll probably get him. Do you want me to also, guys, do you want me to set, set up a youth academy um, scout, or are you not bothered about youth players for this career mode? It's up to you. James McDonald says get El Shuare. I'm I'm down. I'm not gonna lie. Just for a, just for because it's a bit different, isn't it, to all the other signings that everybody always does. I think that, and then we've at least got because he's gonna be converted to a left wing back, and we're not really gonna have much. I think I think I might get El Shuare. You know, what do you, if uh, is everybody is any if anybody in the chat is really against me signing El Shuare, I won't do it. But for one season, seven point two million, just to see how he does. It might be a bit fun. Look at the haircut, man. How can you not love that? You know what I mean? I think it'd be a great signing. I think it'd be... I think you'd, I think you'd get goals. I think you'd get goals. You can always cash in on him as well. Let's see Javi Simmons again coming up in the chat. Seems like he's the guy that you, a lot of you boys want. He was great tonight against Arsenal. Broke my heart and played really well. I would love him at Arsenal in real life. Damn. Imagine him coming off the bench for Erdegaard. Woo! Playing next to Erdegaard. Damn. Javi Simmons. Do we do that deal? Yeah. Let's do it. Let's do it. Oh, I've gone in. I've gone in. I've gone in. I've got to get it done now. The score, I think PSV, won, I've known, I've, I know they won. Um, I think it was 2-0. We didn't play very well tonight. Two, we lost 2-0, yeah. We're still top of the Europa League group, so it's all good. Ismaili Saar, Tompi says, from Watford. I like that. That He was he was nearly went to Villa, didn't he, in the summer? He might be a sign-in for next season. Does Pato still play? I believe so. I believe Pato still plays. I could be wrong. From what I know, he plays. I'm going to go in at 11 mil. They want John McGinn. Nah. No, 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 no. John McGinn's worth too much. I could get, like, 20 mil for him. We'll offer them 13 and a half mil. And add a sell-on clause as well. Of 5%. They want 17.2. Will they accept if I go down to 14.5? Oh, they're at 17.2, lads. Is that too much or is that a good deal? 15.5? Oh, the deal might collapse. The deal might collapse. 15.9. Right, 15.9. Should I do it? It's going to be worth it, isn't it? It's going to be worth double that probably next season. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. I've gone for it. Um, Again, if you're new to the stream... Drop a comment. I'd like to see what's going on with you. Um, if you can like the stream, I'd really appreciate it. It always helps out the channel. And if you're new, consider subscribing. I do FIFA content all the time. Um, so, yeah, I'd really appreciate it, guys. Javi Simmons then. How much did you sign Pau Torres? Um, I'll have a look for you. I think it was 44 or 45 million. I think it's a good deal. Let's negotiate Javi Simmons' contract. Someone in the chat. Let um, James Donaldson know how much we got Pau Torres for. I think it's 45 million. I'm going to say rotation. I, I hope he's not too annoyed at that. No, he's okay. Whew. Five year deal. No release clause on him because he'll be long term. 26k a week. That's not too bad. I'm going to remove this, the, that bonus. I'm let him have the signing bonus. Yes! Javi Simmons. Let's go. That's a good signing. I'm very happy of that. I'm very happy of that. Very. Javi Simmons. Who's better player in real life, Pino or Simmons? Ooh. Both different positions, dude, so you can't really compare. Pino's uh, an, a winger that cuts inside. 
He can play probably as a cam. Simmons. I've seen more of Javi. How is that an F? Oh, that that is broken on this game, isn't it? It's absolutely broke. What a joke. The squad's getting stronger though. I'm happy with that. I could definitely sell Ashley Young because we've got that this guy for at least this season on loan. So Javi Simmons will come in for Ramsey. Um continue editing. Um do we go with two cams and go really attacking? I think I might, you know. Let's change the way Villa play, you know. I want to set these as just like defensive players. I think we're going to loan out Ramsey. Uh, here we go. So, does it tell me how much I bought him for? No, it just tells me his contract. Yeah, I think it was 45 million, dude. Let's go to transfers. So we need to go in our squad hub and put Ramsey up for loan. Keep Young, please. He's a club, club legend. I can keep him, but he's not going to play. He's not going to play at all for me. But I, I, I get he's a legend, so I, I'm, I'm happy to keep him if you want me to. He's not going to make me much money, so it's not that big of a deal. Let's loan Ramsey. He's got great potential. Well, let's get him some game time then. Now, are you all happy with the signings we've done? Should we leave it there for now then? I'm going to keep Javi Simmons as number 14, actually. Quadrado went to Man United. Isn't he like 38? Damn, man. Man United just, uh, just sort themselves out, bro. They need to sort themselves out, bro. <sighs> Getting a bit of a sore throat. Gilbert. Okay. Oh, got some. Oh, got loads of offers. Gilbert, 8.9 million, or Dortmund have offered Matteo Moray, 22 years of age, 72 overall, 3.9 mil. Probably won't be someone that I want. I think I think he's got decent potential, like 84, but I don't really need him. So I'd rather get a bit of money. So we'll... 8.9 million, that's not a bad offer, that. I'll probably accept that, and I'll set the same standard. For Borussia Dortmund, they'll have to pay that as well. Flip the right stick and it'll tell you. Oh, sorry, dude, I didn't see that. I've only just seen that. Let, I'll have a look in a sec. Um, remove the exchange player. And you're going to have to match that offer that we got earlier. Was it 8.9? If you can match that, then you can battle it out. 8.9, so Dortmund will battle it out with Athletic Bilbao. Ollie Watkins is going nowhere. And I'm going to block those offers. Now, John McGinn, a lot of you guys said to get rid of John McGinn. But I want to keep him for this season, so I'm going to reject that. It's from Wolves as well. Jog on, Wolves. You're not going to sign McGinn. McGinn's staying for season one at least, or maybe till January. If he's doing crap, then he's off. He's out the door. Um, transfer hub. Sent offers. Oh, there you go. Yeah, 45 million. So, so far, we've got Pau Torres, 45 million. Danjuma for 34.9 million. 3.5 for Jao Pedro. Javi Simmons for 15.9. And Vega was a free transfer. So, that's quite a few signings already. We've done. I don't want to do too many more. It's one, two, three, four, five. Maximum I want to do is probably six or seven. And then we'll leave it at that. I'm going to simulate all the preseason games. What I should probably do, just in case, is probably save the game in case it crashes or something. That'd be a good idea. I would like to do the full first season in this stream if I can get a whole season done. It's only ten to nine, so it's uh, I've got plenty of time. I was going to go until about half nine ten, so I've got I've got time. Uh, Napoli, what a team Napoli are! We got come up against a player that was in the chat earlier, Kavrat Skilia. Um, was a player that I was interested in signing. Why is no, that is the team. That's all good. We'll quick sim that. Please don't give me any big injuries. 1-1. One, one. Ollie Watkins. Bosh. Gets his first goal under Unai Emery. 
Zario, what's going on, bro? Welcome back, man. It's been a long time. Where you been, man? You missed out on the Man United series that I've got going. Now this new Aston Villa live stream series. I'm also going to uh, probably do a Road to Glory uh, starting in a few weeks with a League 2 team. So watch out for that one. I'll delegate this. I just want that to be a one-year loan. Then Donka. I want to keep Den Donka for now. So I don't want to change the squad too much because that would be really unrealistic. If I start selling the whole squad, that would be pathetic. We won't do that. Gilbert's transfer broke down with Dortmund. Does that mean he, he's chosen someone else? Oh, here we go. Okay, Juventus want a loan. Do you know what? That probably wouldn't be unrealistic because Juventus is so crap now. He would probably play for them. They've got Weston McKennie in midfield, and he is not a good player. Well, FIFA he is, but not in real life. Shall we loan him to Juventus, boys? Shall we loan him to Juventus? Not a loan to buy, though. Just a straight loan that it'll be. Or should we reject that? Douglas Louise offer 8.7 from uh, Herta. And they've offered us Jean-Paul Butius. I'm going to reject that. I want Douglas Louise to stay. Shall we loan him out to Juve? Or should we reject that and wait for another deal? I see a yes in there. Napoli were amazing against Liverpool, I agree. Where is my Coke? I need to go get another can in a minute. I need to go get another can of Coke. Uh, yes. Okay, so should we just should we do it? Should we loan him? Loan him? Go him once. Only loan him to a team that will give him game time. I think he will get game time at Juventus. I can always recall him in January if he's not and loan him to another club. Should we just try it? Because he could go and do bits in Syria. He might negatively affect his potential. Yeah. I mean, I think all I think quite I don't know if a championship team's gonna be able to afford his wages. That's the only thing. It's forty grand a week. Not many championship teams will play that pay that. So it's either loan him out to someone that comes in for him from abroad. Send him championship in Jan if no game time. Yeah. Okay, so let's delegate this. Let's let's get, do a one year loan. And if he's not getting the game time, I'll recall him in January and send him out on loan again to somebody different. So Dan Jama is now a left winger and he's 83 overall. Perfect. He's got 85 finishing. He's going to be lethal, by the way. Yeah, we'll send him Championship in January. If Juventus don't play him, we'll send him Championship. We'll quick sim this. The only thing I hate about quick simming games is you get a lot of injuries. And if I get injuries, I'm going to be pissed. We beat Leipzig 2-1. Damn. Damn, boys. That's not bad. Who's this leaving? Who's leaving? That's Gilbert. Bye, Gilbert. Peace out, bro. Peace. Gone to Bill Blau. Bill Blau? Bill Bow. Apparently that was an F. Shut up. Your mum's an F, Bill Bow. Your mum's an F. Okay, that's a loan deal. Perfect. Jacob Ramsey on loan to Juve for six months at least. If he's. Oh, here we go. Alright, this is the exciting bit, boys. This is the Youth Academy star. 61 overall at centre mid. He goes to striker. And he goes up by 10. Oh my god. He's gone up by 10. 61 to a 71. Oh. Holy shit. Oh my god. Wow. Now that is lit. That is absolutely lit. Wow. He's being promoted right now. Holy crap. Should I loan him out, this kid? Probably should, right? Or should I loan Pedro? You guys pick, you guys pick. This is what this is what I wanted to do live stream instead of just I could have made this as a video, but I wanted to do a live stream so you guys can chat with me and we can vibe. So what we saying, Jao Pedro go out on loan or Michael Moulton go out on loan? 
It's got potential to be special, bro. Jeez. Right, you guys leave that in the chat. I'm just going to go get another can of Coke. I'll be two secs. What we saying then? Morton, I can see in the chat. We think it'd be better to line him out. That's cool. Does everybody else agree? Does everybody else agree with that? I think that's a good idea, to be fair. Pedro, if you give the Youth Academy game time, his overall is going to surely rock it up. He'll probably come on off the bench, won't he? Quite a lot. But then so will Pedro. Oh, I don't know. I think I might have to. I might. I think I might loan him out. You know. And if for season two, he might be really good. But then again, he might. I might play. I might use him. This is a tough one. I think we've just signed Jao Pedro. It makes no sense to sign then loan. I'd rather keep. Let's put him on the loan list. Michael Morton can go on the loan for the first six months or a year. Um. Show the lineup. This is the team we've got. So we've got Danjima, Watkins, and Bailey. We've got Simmons and Buendia. We've got Kamara, Dinya, Pau Torres, Diego Carlos, Cash, Martinez. On the bench, Olsen, Consa, Douglas Ruiz, McGinn, Coutinho, Vega, and Jao Pedro. Next season, we'll be upgrading that bench big time. Play Morton in cup games. Yeah, I could do that. But then if he goes out into a championship team now, he's going to play loads because he's probably, he'd be one of the best players in the championship. I'm loving this career mode, by the way, already. I can tell this is going to be a banger. Let me know if you uh, if you pref do you prefer to watch career mode videos like that are 15 minutes, which I usually make, or do you prefer do you like doing live streams as well so you can chat with me and get involved? What do you what do you like doing, guys? Let me know. Let's sim this game as well. Hopefully we don't get any injuries. We've got away without any injuries. Thank God. Thank God. Youth monthly report. Yeah, they're all cracking on. We'll set up a youth academy scout. All offer for young. It's only one million. I'll I'll I read the chat earlier. You said he's a legend. I don't you don't you want him to stay? So I'll just I'll just keep him. I'll just keep him. It's all good. I've been dreaming about this happening. Thanks for giving me a chance in your senior squad, boss. I'm desperate to show everybody what I can bring to the team. You can definitely do that, mate. But on loan, I was impressed. Some now go out on loan. The bench. Who's on the bench? You have got Jao Pedro Vega. He's a free agent. So next year we'll be probably selling Vega and upgrading. Maybe loaning out Pedro. Selling Coutinho for sure. Selling McGinn for sure. The first team will probably be pretty similar. I might upgrade on a maybe a Dinya or a Kamara maybe. But I, they should grow. Them players should grow to like 84, 85. Pretty quick. So, why Diego Jota went to Bayern? My God. My God. My goodness me. Oh, bye-bye, Ramsey. Where did Ings go? Ings went to Arsenal. Ings went to Arsenal. Now he's gone on loan for 12 months. But I'll recall him in January if he... Uh, uh, Tyro Mings, he went to... I think that the game glitched and it sent him to Sevilla and Leverkusen, but I don't know what happened with that. Boys, have you just... I've, I'm, I don't know... Uh, my friend just sent me um, a screenshot from, from Sky... Pablo Mari, the Arsenal defender who's out on loan in Italy at the moment to Monza. Apparently he's been attacked in a uh, shopping centre and he's in con 
bad condition in hospital. I'm just on my phone, just looking to see if this is if this is out there anywhere else. Shit, yeah, it is. We've been in contact with Pablo Agent, but he told us he's in hospital and he's not seriously hurt. Okay, he's not seriously hurt, which is good news. Because that shit me up then. Whew, my heart dropped for a minute. Any player that plays for Arsenal, even if they're out on loan and that, but I still care about them, do you know what I mean? I care about any footballer. Or any person for that matter. It doesn't matter if they're a footballer. I'm just rambling now. That's what happens. That's what happens when I'm streaming. I just talk a load of shit. You know? I do need to do some more training drills, guys. I know it's not the best viewing, but I've got to do it. Dendonka, 9 million. We need him, really. Do we need Dendonka? I mean, it's a Gerard signing, isn't it? How big is this? The squad's not very big at all. Yeah, shit, mate. We do need Dendonka. <laughs> We've not really got anybody else. Unless we signed, like, um, a really high-potential young player to be on the reserves. Like, centre mid, like Ravella. Nicole, Nicola Ravella. Oh, he's on loan at Monza. Can't get him at the minute. No, I think I'll keep. I think I'll, I'll keep Dendonka for now. We'll decline that deal. It's a decent offer. We'll sell him next year, maybe. What am I doing? Dendonka reject. Or loan a mid yourself. I could loan in a centre mid. Let me just check where Tyrone Mings has gone actually, because I'm interested to find out if he's got if what what who he's actually who he's actually playing for. Oh, it was Leverkusen. That was really weird when it did that. Very strange. Could bounce it. Keep getting offers for John McGinn. I swear I blocked offers. I don't want to sell him this year. I want to keep John McGinn at least for one more year. We're get, I think we're getting. We're we must be close to the season now. I don't think I want to do any more transfers. To be fair, we've got how much money have we got? Not much. I think was it twenty million or eighteen million, something like that. Tw we've got twenty-eight million. Really? Didn't know we had that much. Did not know we had that much. Morton's already gone up another overall. <laughs> He's already gone up again. Do you know what? I'm going to put Pedro on loan as well. And what? And then Dougie's on the bench. Douglas Luiz is on the bench. Don't worry. We're keeping. We're keeping Douglas Luiz. I keep doing that. I keep clicking the wrong shit. Um, so, we'll put him on loan. We, we need to loan at least two of these three. So, Jao Pedro, Archer, Morton, two of them will go on loan. For sure. Louis Barry. I want to bring him back at some point and use him. He's meant to be a, what a quality young player. Yeah, I don't think I'll do any more signings. I might bring in another centre mid, maybe. But, I doubt it. Uh, Matt W says, bring in uh, Gavi. Yeah, I could bring him in. But would that be really unrealistic? Kill the career mode. Oh, this is a great loan. Celta Vigo. That's a great loan. I'm going to accept that, lads. I think he's going. To, he'll play a lot of games in Celta. He'll go over to Spain. Enjoy that, son. Ja Pedro, I know you said it might be good for you, but you're actually not going on loan now. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, mate. We changed our minds. Within a few days. Within a few days, we changed our mind. Where is he? Where is he? Where is he? Remove from loan. I'm ready to buy, maybe, but not loan, I think. Maybe. I mean, how much does he play for Barcelona? I swear he's at always on their bench. Would he trade their bench for Aston Villa's bench? Mm, probably not. If we get Champions League football, then I'll probably go start going for big players like that. 
Here we go. Loan to buy. No, thank you. We'll delegate. Benfica would be a good loan, but only a loan. No sale. Thank you. I do want to keep my squad pretty, like, small because we're not in Europe. So I don't want to oversaturate it with bang average players. I want to have loads of quality. Who's this? Is this Morton? Michael Morton, our Youth Academy player, who is a 61 overall. Went up by 10 overall to 71 when moved to a striker. He has been loaned out to Celta. I'll be keeping an eye on him. I hope to see him back. And I hope that I hope when he comes back he's about 76. Something like that. That that'll be a really nice boost. He's loaned out. Another offer for Young. I'm just gonna block those offers because you guys don't want me to sell Young because he's a bit of a villa legend. And here we go. First weekend of, bloody hell, we've got a difficult start. City then Liverpool. Jesus. Mm. Yeah, you're not going to play, mate. Sorry. Sorry to break it to you, but you're not playing. Right, well, the plan was to simulate all the way up to January, to be honest. Unless we get, like, a, a Birmingham in the cup or something. I was going to just simulate this and see how it goes. That was It was just meant to be, like, a fun Unai Emery thing. But I think, let's check the squad out. So, reserves, we've got a couple of centre-backs. He can play right back as well. We've got not many centimetres. I probably do need another centimetre, you know, for the reserves. Actually, we've got three on the on the reserves, which I don't, at bench, which I don't normally have. I normally have just two. So, no, I think I think we'll be okay. Maybe another winger for the reserves. But we could get that from the Youth Academy. So, no, I think we'll leave it as that. So, I'm not going to play the first games. I'm going to try, uh, I'm going to try and just, um, nearly saved over the Man United crew mode then. Jesus. That would have been a disaster. Yeah, I think we'll we'll sim the games. So we can do it via the calendar because it just is a lot quicker. I think. All right. Oh my God! We've got Birmingham in the cup. Oh my God! Boys, no way it's thrown us up a derby in the first month of our career mode. Jesus, man. Wow. Now that is unreal. That is unreal. Seriously, man. Yeah, I'll be playing that one. Right, let's, let's sim past City. We lost 4-0. It is expected. We're probably going to lose to Liverpool. We beat Liverpool! Come on! Get in there, boys! Yes! Beat Liverpool! Love that. Defeat to City, but beat Liverpool! Buzzing. All right, now we've got Birmingham. I'm going to definitely play this game. I might lose because I've literally not played any practice games with this team. So I'll probably get my ass kicked. By goddamn Birmingham, which would be embarrassing, but um, we'll delegate that. That's just a loan. We reject that, and I don't even know. Cremonese isn't that an Italian team? I accept that. That's, that's a loan. That's all good. Yeah, you said in the chat. If you get Birmingham, you have to play. And I've only gone and pulled out Birmingham in the cup. I think I'm going to go full strength, just so I don't get my ass kicked. I need to change the kits as well. Danjama and Bailey are not fully fit, but they're not bad. Where they can't To a place where they can't play. Um, yeah, I think I'll go with the full strength. I might... No, I'll, I'll, I'll go full strength, I think. Three minutes each half. We'll customise um, the kits. I'll go purple. Actually, should I go black? And they can go blue. Yeah, let's do that. Alright, let's do it. Can Pledgeo play wing? I think he can. I think you can play left. Yeah, you can play left mid. So I can always pop him out wide if I need to. 
Right, okay, this is risky because I have not played a single game with Aston Villa on FIFA 20. I haven't played I haven't played with Villa since FIFA 21. I'm playing on Legendary, three minutes each half, so don't get ages in the game. Go full strength. I should win this game. I should win this game. Boys, let me know what the audio is like, if it's too low, high, or if, it, or if it's good. Oh, Derby Day. Let's go. Our first, the first match I'm going to play today. All right. All right. Derby Day. Come on. Let's go, you villains. Come on. Big game. I'm buzzing that they chucked in that. Round two of the Carabao Cup. A derby. Love that. I love that. I'm all about that, FIFA. Thank you. Give them, the viewers, what they want. Guys, if you're enjoying the video, uh, live stream even, or if you're watching this as a video after the stream is finished, smash the like button. I'd really appreciate it. It takes about two seconds, and it just helps the channel out. Subscribe if you're new as well, and um, yeah, let, have a little chat with me in the uh, in the chat. I've got the chat in front of me now, so I can see all of your chats. And I'm trying to catch up with them as much as I can as well, because you guys have been popping off tonight. I love it. Imagine if it was dead in the chat. It'd be well hard to do this. So thanks to everybody in the chat. Appreciate you. Appreciate y'all. Ah, kick off. I was looking at my phone. Let's see how difficult this is then. Oh dear. That's Birmingham City for you. Straight off the pitch. Love to see it. Okay, Kamara on the ball. Offside to Danjima. Gonna get shot away here with Buendia. Decent block. We started well. Win that high up. Who's number eight? Is that Danjima? I need this. I don't know. That's not a bad number, I suppose, but. Not really a winger, is it? Number. It's more of a midfielder. Is that Danjima? Why has he come over here? Ah, I know why. I know why. Because when I had it as Buendia, I put it, the tactics to... Um, the instructions to free roam. Whereas I don't want him to do that anymore. I need him to get in behind. That was lucky. That was very lucky. Oh, where's my midfield, man? To be fair, I have gone very attacking with two attacking players. I maybe should have... Oh, no! Oh, freaking hell. They were in behind. Watkins. Wendy up. So, Javi Simmons. Great first touch. Out wide this time. Bailey. Cash and Bailey getting in each other's way. This is Matty Cash. Come inside. Ollie Watkins. Oh, he's turned straight into Sanderson. Hogan. Yes, Pau Torres, you absolute animal. Javi Simmons on the ball. Javi Simmons still. And still. Ah, oh, should have passed it. Should have played it off. Referee sets a foul. Okay. To us, this is like Arsenal playing Tottenham. I was actually at the North London Derby this year. It was insane. I'm going to go Luca Digna. Let's go with this one. Luca Digna over the free kick. Goes for goal. Oh! How close was that for Unai Emery and Aston Villa? What a save. What a save. Good corner in. Great header! Oh, Ruddy! Ruddy's going to have a mad one, isn't he? Ruddy is going to have a mad one, isn't he? Oh, God. Dinya in the box again. Oh, Carlos! A poor header that time. Two big saves there from Ruddy. 25 minutes played already. Bloody hell. Oh, Ruddy to short. Oh, Watkins! Could have gotten the end of that. Win that header. Thank you, Kamara. Love that, son. Buendia, they're not closing me down. Buendia, straight in the middle. I like Emi Buendia, and I know a lot of Villa fans like him, but he's got to do more. Cool, Javi Simmons. Austin Trusty, I think he's on loan from Arsenal to Birmingham. Heads that away. Difficult game this has been so far. Christ. Oh, they're playing five at the back, though, aren't they? 
Anytime I come up against a team in Korea by playing five at the back, I always lose. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Oh, have I not got the ball there? Oh, come on, lads. Win the ball back for crying out loud. This is not Barcelona, is it? Tell you what, if I win the ball here. Oh, how is he so good, dude? I swear this guy on the ball right now is like 68 overall in this game. Oh, come on. They're playing outrageous at the minute. Dini. Hogan. I can't get the ball, lads. I literally cannot get it. No matter what I'm doing, yeah, they're going to score. They've scored. I could not get the ball there. That was absolute bullshit. Wow. We're 1-0 down right on half. Classic just before half time. Yeah. Okay, game. Nice one. Thanks for that. On the derby as well. Couldn't get the ball there just before half time. There goes half time whistle. Freaking hell. 1 0 down. I don't like the way the team plays at the minute. It's very different to what I'm used to. Bloody hell, they're so unfit already. Jesus Christ. I'm going to have to make changes. Wendy has been shite, by the way. I swear, all five of the back teams on FIFA always park the bus. They do. It's impossible. And then they go forward and you can't win it. I'm not going to make excuses. I'm not playing very well either, to be fair. It's my first game with Villa, so. Probably wasn't the best game to start with, was it? Probably should have played the game first. See if I can do better in the second half. I do need some of my better players to step up, though. They have been pretty shocking. I'm trying to get round them. Cash has come inside. Matty Cash. From range! Oh. Pass. God's sake. Decent effort. But way too much power on the end of that one. My friend. Yeah, I really struggle against five at the back teams. It's probably just me, but... I really do struggle against them. I mean, this guy, friend, I'm sorry, but after the game, I'm going to check what overall is. I swear he's like in his 68, 69. He's playing like a 90 overall left back at the minute. And every time it goes forward to Hogan, look. Oh, I'll give it a red. Yes, Pau Torres. Stay on side, Vega. Is he gone offside? No, he's on. He is on side. Still with Vega. Pull it back. Watkins got to score. Got to finish this. I'm offside. Danjum is offside. <laughs> Jesus Christ, man. Well done, Danjum up. Oh, Watkins. Come on, bro. Yeah, they're really parking the bus at the minute. Why? Why has that gone to Coutinho? Danjuma. Oh, my God. Yes, Kamara. Oh, Watkins has been absolute shit, mate. He's coming. Oh, fuck off game. Oh, my players are so tired already. It's mental. Danjima's got to come off. He's knackered, mate. I um, don't think I'm going to win this, you know. <laughs> I can't believe that. I should have guessed. I've got to say, Pau Torres has been incredible. Oh, this is the free agent. Vega. Vega! Come on! 1-1 one, one in the 75th minute. Now let's go and punish them, boys. Vega. Come on! Yes! Get in there, son. Great goal. What a ball through. And I love the finish. Love the finish. Calm. Collected. Passed, Ruddy. Ruddy's been good today. Two, made two or three incredible saves. He should have probably saved that one. Well, should have done a little bit better, maybe. But he couldn't. And now we need to push on and win this game. 
We've got the players out there to do it. We've definitely got the players out there to do it. Oh my God, Hogan's turned me. Yes, Luca Dinya. Vega's free. Vega is free. Come on. Come on, boys. There's a massive gap there. Didn't want it to jail Pedro, but he's got it. Dougie Louise. Dougie! Oh, it's a big block. Oh, if you draw a replay happens, I don't know in the Carabao Cup. Is it replay or is it extra time? We've got a call nut. Dinya. It's a good delivery, that. Oh. Oh, that's quality. Diego Carlos. Oh. How I think I've used all my subs, haven't I? I have. To be fair, we only had a two-day rest after Liverpool, and I did use the full-strength team. How have they got that much space in the middle of the park? I mean, come on, that's bollocks, isn't it? Oh, my God. Where is my... Yeah, whatever. Look, you cannot open them up. Switch the plate. It's Coutinho. It's Kamara. Douglas Louise. On one more. Pedro! Oh my god, Ruddy! No! That's last minute. Oh my god, that was last minute. Ruddy is a joke, bruv. What are the players sitting on on the pitch? Oh my god. Is this penalty? Does it go straight to pens? Because if it does, I'm, I'm going to lose. I never win on penalty shootouts. If you watch my content, you just know that I never win on penalty shootouts. Does it go an extra time? Does it go... Pe oh, my God. Oh, my God. It's gone pens. I'm not winning this. I'm not winning this. Dini. Oh, he's done me. Coutinho. Yeah, Ruddy's just been, like, outrageous. Joke. Hogan. Yeah. Well, I haven't saved one penalty, by the way, this year on FIFA 23. Oh, my God! That's... I'm sorry. This is bollocks. Ruddy's been ridiculous. Yeah, we're out. If he saved this as well, I'm done. He was a... He was literally that close to it. We're going out on pens, boys. I'm sorry. Stop pissing about, Martin. Yeah, we've gone out. On penalties. Unai Emery could be sacked in the morning. I'm sorry, but that match was absolute bollocks, that was. John Ruddy has had the game of his career. And Birmingham have knocked out Aston Villa in the Carabao Cup. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. Nah, bruh. Nah, bruh. I think they had... How many shots did they actually have during the game? I would love to know. Wow! Look at the stats. They had two shots and scored. We had 12. Done. Done. Wow. Wow. That is absolutely incredible. I'm gutted. I really wanted to win that game. Oh, well. FIFA be doing us like that, bro. I can't believe that. I can't believe how good Ruddy was in that game. It's just mental. It is just mental. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. After that performance, go sign him. Yeah, should probably go sign John Ruddy. That's insane. I just cannot believe how good he was in that game. It's okay. Our job will not be defined on one game. I hope. I really hope. That is annoying, though. He made, like, three insane saves. 
nearly saved every penalty. I didn't save. Yeah. <laughs> Matting. Matting. I should have just simmed it. If I'd have just simmed it, I would have won. I would have definitely have won if I'd have just simmed the game. Oh, what a strike from Javi Simmons. I'm not going to lie, I was really disappointed playing with Danjima. He didn't play very well in that game. Hopefully it was just a one-off. I didn't like Buendia. He felt really off. Really off. But I have been playing as Man United and I've got 90-rated Casemiro, 90-rated Frankie De Jong, 88-rated Sancho, so 89-rated Ronaldo. So, yeah, it's going to feel a bit weird until they get higher rating. But that's fair. You need Suarez in that game. Yeah. Jeez, man. Jesus! Um, yeah. Sorry about that, Villa fans. I bet you're fuming. Pro you probably uh, clicked off the stream now. Thought, I ain't watching this dude. He just, uh, he just lost to Birmingham. I'm not watching him. I'm sorry, alright? I let you down. Unai Emery. I'm sure would have I'm sure would have done the same in real life. With John Ruddy playing like that, I don't see how else you could have won that game. I do think if it went to extra time I would have won it. And he also saved do you remember that save he made in the ninety first minute? <laughs> Jao Pedro's got to bury that. Jao Pedro, you've got to bury that mate. No excuse. Another player leaving. Is this Jacob Ramsey? I'm not quite sure. It looks like it could be. I don't know if he's got a real face scan. No, no, he has got Cameron Archer on the loan. That's all good. He can leave on loan. There's another player actually I wanted to just quickly have a look at. I don't know. I don't know if he's if he's still playing. They are. But oh, what am I doing? I think his name's Nazinho. Oh, he's a left wing back. I like to scan him because he's meant to be a really good young player. Well, I saw him play against Spurs the other day and he was absolutely incredible. So we'll scout him. Next Prem game. We need to get back to winning ways. One, one. Against Liverpool, lost against City, and lost against our big rivals in the Cup. Yeah, he's not for sale. They've offered me Di Marco, who's actually an incredible player. But I want to keep Bailey. We've got bigger games coming up, Vega. Chill, bruh. I'm going to save it. Alright, I think I'm going to sim now a hefty chunk. Or should I just wait, because we're still in... Yeah, I'll just sim the one game. Oh, we lost to Bournemouth. Jesus Christ, game. Give me something, will you? If I get sacked, then... Well, that's the career mode done. <laughs> if he gets sacked. it's another player, I think, leaving on loan. Yeah. Bugarde. He goes out to... I think that's Turkey. Turkish team. Simulate the training. Player chats. Need to let you know... Don't blame yourself. Isn't the best time. Did he actually? Did he ask for a new contract? To be fair, I do need to have a look at that. I haven't actually checked players' contracts. Let's go to contracts. Who's on a short deal? Douglas Louise is on a short deal. To be fair, everybody else has got a decent deal. I'll probably just give him a new contract quick. Can you scout players in Jamaica from the youth academy? Yeah, I can do. Can I have a look in Jamaica. Teach me how to doggy. Teach me, teach me how to doggy. Oh my goodness, look at me. Oh my. Right. Three year deal. Technically four because he's still got 11 months to run. Wage is on 51k. We'll give him 60, 65 and give him 200. And then a bonus. 10 goals. Another 200. He's happy with that. Douglas Louise signs a new deal with the villa. Okay, so you guys wanted me to have Youth Academy Scouts, so let's do that now. So I highly doubt 
I'm going to sign it. Oh, we got a five star, five star. I forgot about that. Let's put him in England for three months. Let's sign another Youth Academy scout. We'll have two. Another five star, five star. Thank you. And um, I can, someone asked for Jamaica. I don't know if, can you do that? No, you can go Algeria, Nigeria, Morocco, Egypt, South Africa, Cameroon, Nigeria, Ghana, Ivory Coast. Let's go Ivory Coast for three months. And let's just do that. Right, deadline day. I don't expect any deals to go go through, to be fair. I'm not looking to sell or sign anybody. Um, Concert. No, I don't want to sell him. Probably block those offers as well. To be fair, I'm probably gonna. I might just skip deadline day now. I don't want to sell anybody. So what is the point? Let's just let's just skip deadline day. No more players in. No more players out. It's over. Okay, I think now the plan always was to just skip till January. Unless I see another game pop up that I want to play. And then in January we can see where we're at in the league table. And uh, do what we need to do. So I think let's, let's do that now. Let's go forwards. We'll go into the calendar. And we'll skip. Let's, let's skip to the end of November. And we'll see how we're doing there. I'm just going to pop to the toilet and I'll be back. Let me just see if we beat Wolves. Oh my god, we've lost. We might get sacked because we've lost to Bournemouth, Wolves, City, Birmingham, beat West Ham. Can we beat Palace before I go through it? Oh, we lost to Palace. My god. Right, how have we been doing? Alright, let's check, because I missed all that. So, we didn't do well to start. We picked up some good points in October. Done okay in November. December is pretty important. Where are we in the league? We're not doing bad. We're in 8th. That's that's pretty on par for our fault. Scout reports. Okay, anyone decent on here? No. 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 Didier Keita. Mm, looked okay, but nothing great. I only want to sign really good youth players, but there's just no point. Diawara, no. Cissé, no. Kofi. It's a 500k, he's 15, I'll sign him. Diara, no. Dembele, no. Traore, no. And Silla, no. Nothing great, really. There. Okay, Mason Baxter, no. Luca Holden. He already went. No. Jaden Haynes. 17. Um, no. I only want really. Ooh! Jamie Hurst. 2.2 million he's worth. Yes, please. Daniel Whitehead. No. Leon Fleming. I want to. Re I definitely want to go check out that youth player in a minute. Harry Baxter, 850k, we'll sign him as well. Okay, so we've got three. They are. Bednarek appearances, they're not happy because he's barely playing, so he'll probably be recalled in January, which is okay. We'll just buy another centre-back to replace him if we need to. Who's the unhappy lot? Why are all the squads so unhappy? That's a bit weird. Considering then they're starting 11. Feeney, loan to buy. 
I'll delegate that. So line. Right, let's check these youth players, shall we? Let's check these youth players. Okay, so I'm probably going to release that goalkeeper. He looks he's going to be crap. All right, we've got uh, Patrice Kofi, 15, Ivory Coast. Okay, well, we'll keep an eye on him. We'll definitely keep an eye on him. Um, oh, my God, 84 to 94 potential for her, 66 overall. He's a left wing back. Is he more suited? He's really good defensively and physically. How tall is he? 5'10", yeah, he probably is a wing back. I'm going to keep him as a wing back, you know. If I can improve him technically, he's passing and that, he'll be decent. Backstar, he's got a lot of pace, decent dribbling, so we'll put him on the right wing. See if that helps him grow a bit. Torres, he's a 56 and Michelle's still 58. Okay, pretty happy with the Youth Academy at the minute. Have them Youth Academy scouts though. Yeah, are they still scouting or are they finished? I think they've still got one more month maybe to go. You want me to check Ramsey? Yes, good idea. Let's go squad hub. Let's check that. So let's check. Um, so Archer's gone up by 1 to 71. Morton's up to 73, up by 12 overall already. Freaking hell. Wow. Wesley's gone up by 1. Dave's gone up by one. Chuck Mecca has gone up by one. Philogen Bidace has gone up by two. Louis Barry up by two. Wright still the same. Torori 76. 63 for Vasilev. Zaz has gone up by 67. Ramsey. Aaron. What? Who the hell? Is that his younger brother or something? Aaron Ramsey 65. Jacob Ramsey 76. So he's gone up by one. It doesn't tell you the stats because they're playing in another league, which is annoying. But he's gone up by one. Okay, I'm pretty happy with that. I don't know why everyone's so unhappy, though. It seems that they're unhappy with the team performance rather than playtime or contract. So that's interesting. That me simming the matches, they're not happy with the way we're playing. Unai Emery, baby. I watched him at Arsenal. I didn't enjoy the way he played with our Arsenal. So we've got us playing, so don't you worry. We know, we know that. O'Reilly loan offer. Loan to buy. It'll just be a straight loan. Thank you very much. I might have to play some games in. Um, what is he talking about? I haven't done the training. I might have to play some of the December games, boys. So we don't. So the players don't all ask to leave or something like that. Because a lot of them don't seem too happy at the moment. Which is a bit annoying. We have got a bit of money for January if we need it. But I don't think we do at the minute. No, I don't think we do at the minute. And that one can just stay the same. Yeah, what's my next game? Everton at home. Um, scout report available. I just looked at the scout report, didn't I? What? So they're both done. For God's sake. Right, where should we send them out now? Let's go and try and find someone from... Let's try out France, I think. For three months. I think Emery did better than Arteta if you compare Arteta finishing 8th two times in a row. You can't compare it like that, dude. You cannot compare it like that. Look at the teams that they had. Unai Emery had a really good team of really experienced players. Arteta has ripped all of those out because they were really toxic. And he's brought through all the young, loads of young players. Rejuvenated the whole squad, rebalanced it. Arteta's done a much, much better job than Unai, I'm afraid. Much better. Unai's football was absolutely terrible. I'd rather watch. I'd, I'd, I would never 
want to go back to the way we played under Unai. I don't think he's a bad coach, by the way. I think he's good, but he does. I don't know what he tried to do at Arsenal. It just did not work. It just did not work for him. Unfortunately. But I'm happy with Arteta, so it's all good. And I think Unai will do good at Villa. I think he will do good at Villa. If they give him money and time, of course he will do good. But yeah, I don't, I don't think you can say, I don't think he did a better job. Because he bottled the top, he bottled top four in the end as well. And he had a much better squad, if you look at it. Like, more experience, much better players. Right, let's sim to the end of the month, for December. Beat Everton. Come on, boys. Big wins, please. We're in the top eight at the minute. Beat Chelsea. Drew with Forest. Would have liked to have won that. Lost to Le Leicester. Please don't go on a downward spiral again at the end of this month, for crying out loud. Beat Southampton. Beat West Ham. Yes! That's a good month. Six games, one L. I'm happy with that. Where are we in the league? We must be pretty high. We're seventh. That's not bad. Top seven. I'll take that. I'll take that. All day. 33 points. We're actually only nine points off the top. Which is pretty crazy. Well, how many points are we off the top four? Four. We're only four points off the top four. We could we could make a, a run if we get some wins under our belt. Well, let's move into the first, which is against Liverpool. We already beat them this season in the league in the first month. Got a new squad report here. Baxter's a winger. He's gone up by a couple overall doing that. Support winger so he can improve his passing. Bednarek's been recalled. Augustin's been recalled. So then lone players have not barely played, so they've all been recalled. So we're going to have to bolster the squad, which is unfortunate because I'm going to have to probably use our money on reserve players unless I promote youth academy players, which I don't, I don't think anyone's really ready yet. Risk of losing players. Ashley Young. I'm going to let Ashley Young's contract just run out. Then I'm not selling him, technically. Hurst could probably be promoted, which I'm going to do. So, congratulations to Hurst. He's been promoted. You're the man, should chance. You can do even better than Donka. All right, let's just check this squad because a few players have just left because their loans run out. All right, the players are a bit more happy now, which is nice to see. Now, Pedro's gone up by a few overall. Right, yeah, shit it now. Our squad is small now. Wow. Yeah, I'm going to have to bring some players in because that's too small. That's outright. We've got no... We've literally got barely anybody. We need, enough, we need to bring in some more players. Definitely. I think it's, it might be time to sell John McGinn. It might be time to sell John McGinn. I think. What do you guys think in the uh, in the stream? Should we sell John McGinn now and replace him? I've put him up for sale. I can always change it, but I think it might be time to sell him. Did we have any sentiments on our shortlist? No, we didn't. We probably don't need Nazinho because we've got a new player. We probably don't need Cisco. Well, sure, right. I might still go for Adama at some point. We definitely need another centre mid. Recall Ramsey and sell John. Could do, but then Ramsey's just going to sit on the bench. He might be better out just staying on loan. Um, who else could I sign? What centre mids? We've got Lukonga at Arsenal. We've got... Um, could try and get Smith Rowe. I know Villa really wanted him a few summers ago. I don't think he'll leave Arsenal in real life, but... He's got to Atletico Madrid. What? Still scouting, but that's mental. Smith Rowe. Um, let me think about that. Or I could do what you said. I could recall Ramsey. Have him on the bench. Have him on the bench, yeah. I might do that, you know. 
Let's see if we get any good offers from John McGinn. We've got... How much money we've got? Why is it telling me how much money I've got? I can't even remember now. Finances. 23 mil. Okay. Right, well, let's, let's just leave it for now. We'll skip the... We're going to have to skip game by game this month so we don't miss out on transfers. We beat Liverpool again, boys! Get in! Come on! Jeez! Team's doing bits. Good back up, Sean Ramsey. And you'll save some dosh, yep. Yeah. That is a true. That is a true. That is a true? That is true. Got some scouting back. Suarez, no. Mendoza, no thank you. Delegado, nope. Yeah, I don't want to just get loads of youth players. I just want to... If, it, if anyone anyone catches my eye, or I like their name, then they will be signed. If I don't, they won't. Hector Blanchard. I like that name. So he'll be signed. I'm a bit surprised. I'm looking at options, John, mate. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I was impressed, Hursty boy, from the Youth Academy. We should get some decent offers for John McGinn, you know. We should definitely get some decent offers for John McGinn. We should probably go into the Morecambe game with a rotated team. Which I haven't actually made. I should probably do that. Let's do that now. Rot. Who should we... So, rotated team. We've got to start Jao Pedro. We've got to start Vega. We've actually got to start someone like Vasilev because we're really short on numbers at the minute. We've done a big old clear out. In midfield, we're not blessed with loads of midfielders either. So, Coutinho will come in. I'll probably have to ask Buendia to play again. Why is Kamara so pissed off? Um, Torres is up to an 85. Console will come in. I'll... Bring in Chambers, I'll ask Carlos to play again. Hurst can make his debut. We'll keep Martinez in goal. Ashley Young can be on the bench. Dendonka as well. Can probably actually but Dendonka can play, can't he? He'll just drop to a centre mid. And yeah, that'll probably be the team. I don't know why Kamara's pissed off. I hope he don't ask to leave. I'll check that in a minute. I don't want Kamara to leave. What about promoting that 6 6 left wing back from the Youth Academy? Yeah, I've done that, dude. I'm giving him his debut now. Well, against Morecambe next. I just want to go to Squad Hub quick, because I just want to see if Kamara needs a new contract. Because he's fuming. Kamara, playtime. He should, he's in the starting 11, so that's a bit bullshit, that. Right, this should be the second team. That's the second team. We should beat Morecambe away. If we don't, I'm cursed. I'm cursed. I'm. C oh my god. I could get sacked, mate. I might actually get sacked because the game's pissing me off in the cup games. I don't know how that team hasn't beat Morecambe. I'm sorry, but that's insane. No trophy this season. Show me you need to play. I've had to move things around. No one's bid for John McGinn yet. I mean, it's the 9th of Jan. A little bit concerned. Slightly worried. Offer withdrawn. Well, whatever. I, I need to... Um, if you finish top 10, should be alright. I hope so. I didn't actually check what the board objectives were. Because they're just really annoying. So I just didn't bother. Which may come back to bite me in the ass. Man City next as well. Matty Cash, not for sale. I've already said that. Don't test me, game. Man City next. I've seen that one as well. So we've got City, then United. I'll skip past these two. Lost to City. Don't expect to beat United either. We need to beat Fulham, though. Lost to United. What's our manager rating? It's not great. It's in orange at the minute. Emma Smith-Rowe. 
37 mil, jeez. I'm not going to be able to afford that. John McGinn, 20 mil. I think we could get more than that, no. I thought I'd be able to get like 22 million for him. Ooh. I might just have to keep John McGinn, actually. I might have to take him for transfers and just keep him for the season. I feel like the simulation is not doing me very is not doing very well for me because all my players are fuming. But there's no way I would be able to play for a whole season in a stream. McGinn is steaming now. I'm going to have to turn that around because I'm going to ask to ask him to play the rest of the season. I mean, we're not in any cups now, so that should be a big enough squad to play through the rest of the league season. There's no cup games whatsoever, so the team should be able to make it through that. Christ. And we'll be able to bring in more quality next season. A quiet January, I think, for us. Might be the way. Might be the way. Yeah, the board are not happy. Sign three players born in Asia. Shit, I did not see that. I hate them objectives. They just ruin it. I don't. Who do I? I don't want to buy anyone from Asia. Finishing a Europa League spot. Jesus Christ. That's mental. I'm not signing three players born in Asia because I don't. I, there's no players I, I want from Asia. If I just get sacked, they'll get sacked. And that will be the end of Unai. He'll last a season. Last one season. Yeah, I'm definitely not signing free players from Asia. There's nobody that I want from from Asia. I'm sorry, but no. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to do any signings in Jan. Saka went to Inner. Arsenal sold Smith Rowe and Saka. It's bollocks. What's the game doing? I could sell him now, but there's no one to replace him with, so there's just no point. I'll do that next year. I think I'm just going to have to simulate forwards now, lads. And hopefully not get the sack. Let's just simulate to the end of this month and see how we go. No more incomes, no more out. Oh, we've lost to Fulham as well. Freaking hell, the game's not going to let me win any matches. Oh my god, I'm losing all the games. I'm going to get sacked. I beat Newcastle. Do I play Wolves? Our managers, oh, it's nearly in the red. It's nearly in the red. It's nearly in the red. That's not good. Oh, I didn't mean to negotiate that, for frick's sake. End. Get out of my ups. Reject. Um, yeah, my performance is... Uno Emery could be sacked here, boys. I might have. To, I need to win some games. Where are we in the league, though? We're in eighth. <sighs> oh, I don't think we're going to make top five. We are eleven points behind. Unless we go on a winning run. Might try and play this game. Which one usually counts as a player from Asia? I don't know, sometimes it doesn't count. <laughs> That's why I hate them objectives, they're just so shit. And I'm probably going to get sacked because I've not met the objectives, but they're just so crap. Why are these players so pissed off? Oh my god. This is why I'd never simulate through seasons, because the game's just broken. Just It's just broken. Right, we need to win this game. Oh, this is going to be difficult. It's only my second game with the team. Jesus. Come on, boys. We need to win this one. Wolves are always good on FIFA as well, which is going to be annoying. I don't know what it is with this team, but look, they're all over the place. My defence. I noticed it against Birmingham. How are they in behind already? Come on, Leachy. 
You're in Watkins. Oh, how has Collins got there? Into Watkins. Shoot. Shoot. Just so slow. Watkins is dog, mate, on this year's game. Should have got Tammy. He would have got me a lot more points. Go on, Watkins. Prove me wrong. Oh, that's a finish, son. Come on. Come on. Get in. That's a good strike, mate. Have it. Yeah, I could look to sign Asian players from free agents. Does Asia count? It's just like... I'm guessing it's just like Japan. And, oh, Pedro Neto. Always a good player on FIFA. Oh, come on, game. Don't do me like this. All them skill. Oh, this is ridiculous. I feel like I'm getting really done dirty on this career mode at the minute. Come on, Buendia. I'm not liking Buendia. He might need to go. If he, can go, if he goes, I'll probably, bring, I'll probably walk by Smith Rowe. Great turn, Watkins. Oh, it's so slow! You've done a great touch and you've just left the ball. Jesus, Kamara. You've got Danjima running back into defensive midfield. Which is definitely not on the tactics. Oh, I love that Bailey. I'm going to check the player stats as well in a minute. See who's our top goal scorer and all that. That is not the pass I wanted quite clearly. Quite clearly. Oh, my God. Yes, Kamara. This is end-to-end, -end, this game. Jeez. Oh, what are you doing? He's trying to cross it with the outside of his boot. What is he doing? What is he doing? How are they so in behind? So easy. Bullshit, mate. The f oh, that is bollocks. The defence. What the f... It's so bad. I don't know why it's so bad. Unai Emery looks like he might only last a season. Good lord. A good touch. Get the shot away, Emmy. Oh! Need to win this game, dude. Need to win this. I need to just like win loads of games back to back to back to get the ball off my ass. Lee, why did you stop your run? They're playing it through my midfield so easy. It's nuts. I might have to change the formation because this is just not working. Well, it's not letting me switch to Kamara. It's not letting me switch to my DM. Oh, fuck. That is bollocks. This is bollocks, dude. I'm actually getting pissed off with this career mode now. That is insane. Did, did not let me change to my DM, who's the player who's literally in the middle of the park. Ready to get the ball. Nuts. Absolute nuts this game has been tonight. All my shots have been so bad as well. Yeah, might might get sacked. Might get sacked and uh if I get sacked the stream done. I swear they've only had two shots and they scored two goals again. What are you doing, Brendia? Freaking hell, he's so shit. Please score, though. Yes! He might be shit, but he's scored a banger. Right. We're back level. He was 1-0 up, went 2-1 down, that's 2 all. It's a great game at the Molyneux.
And I'm going to take Emmy off. His fitness is shocking, dude. I'm not going to do any other changes. I'm going to stick with that for now. God, it's near 10 o'clock already. That's mad. The time's gone well quick tonight. I've been live for two and a half hours. Jeez. Yeah, every time I've said someone's crap, they're sh they've scored. So let's just say everyone's cr everybody on this team is crap. Oh, Cash, you're crap, mate. Well done, Diego. Oh, Coutinho! Oh, Torres, done, mate. Yes, pal, Torres. Love that tackle, mate. Oh, Janjama! No one's closing down. Did you just see that skill? Oh, my God. Have they just updated the game and Legendary just become impossible? Because it feels like that at the minute. Go, go, Ollie, go. Go, Ollie, go. You're not going to beat Adama, though. No. Of course they've got Adama Traore back. Oh, he's giving... No! Oh, how has that... Ref how has that not been controlled? And I should have scored. How has the ball gone backwards from there? Fuck sake, man. They're just playing through me so easily. It's actually disgusting. Look, they're in again. They're in a freaking game! Damn, Villa needs some real surgery, dude. Yes, Coutinho, thank God for that. Drive me up the pitch, lad. It's a Watkins, out the other... For fuck's sake, it's actually unreal. My players do not go to the ball. Come on. Oh! Oh, frick! I just feel like they're just so good. Going to end in a draw, unless Coutinho gives it away and lets them have a goal late on. Go on, Danjima, win it for us. Oh, he's hit the bar! He's hit the freaking crossbar! Done. I am done tonight. I am so done with this game. Oh, my God. How has that not gone in? Piss take. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ, man. I've had no luck, have I, tonight? Literally none. Oh, dear. Right. Scout reports, let's check these. <laughs> no way, yeah. Joke. Maybe playing world class. I don't think it's even that, dude. Like, I'm playing well. They just they seem to be scoring every chance they get. Against Birmingham, they had two shots and they scored. Against Wolves, I think they had four shots and scored two of them. So, 1.1 million. Matthias Ber Bernier. Okay. Mendoza, no. Pinto, no. I might get another scout. Might as well. Set up another scout. So Asia counts as um, China, India... Do they have to connect? Does it count if you get them on free agents, or do you have to actually sign sign the player, or can I get youth players from there? Because if I can get youth players, I'll just do all youth players. I'll just do three months. Any. I don't know if I can do youth players though. I did it last year. I suppose I could try and sign one. 
from the free agents and see if it works. Because at the moment, if I go to office, God, I hate the. I don't like the new menu on this. I really hate it. Everything is just everywhere. Manager rent's fifty. Jesus. Three players born in Asia. Right, let's see. Let's see if I can get one from free agents. So it can be. Is there any Japanese players? Um, no, hold on. It doesn't have to be. It could be Saudi Arabia as well, right? Did it say it could be? I can't remember now. Let me know in the chat. I think it was um, Japan. Um, Saudi, I'm trying to think of the other ones, I think Korea was there, maybe, Japan, we'll try Japan, next season's objects, yeah, sign place from Conference League, for loan, um, no, free agent, oh, there's none, there isn't going to be any and it's going to, I'm going to get sacked, I hate this game sometimes, man. There's going to be none. Jesus Christ. Nah, there's none. There's none. Joke. Well, if I get sacked, it's not my fault because the game's just absolutely screwing me. Youth report. Baxter's looking good. Bernier, I'll put him on a development plan. He's got a lot of pace, good dribbling. Could probably play as a number 10. I'm going to train him up as a number 10. Blanchard. Kubo. Yeah, but I can't sign him yet, can I? No free agents, which is really annoying. Actually, he might be better in another position. Let's move him to centre mid. I don't think he's fast enough for a winger. I hate having so many emails, man. Man United trying to buy him again. What is going on with the world? Stop clicking on the emails, dude. Sometimes it just can't work out how you see things, boss. Whatever us players think, whatever the atmosphere is like, them dressing, whatever everyone says to you, you don't seem bothered. The team spirit doesn't seem to match you at all. The only thing that matters in the results in the long term, we win games. You don't care about anything else, am I right? What the f What is going on in his career mode? Mate, if mo a player like that spoke to me like that, you would be absolutely done in. Jesus. Unai Emery is not having a good time at Villa right now. He really isn't. As if. I've never had a message like that from a player. He come for me, bro. He come for me there. Damn. That was pretty savage. From my cap, My captain. Disgrace. What a disgrace. I'm really hoping I get a Youth Academy report back before I get sacked so I can just sign the Asian players to keep my job. The Feeney offers need to piss off as well. They're doing my tits in. But before I get... I need to stop. I need to keep winning games. That's the only other thing I can do to keep my job. I need to win games. I don't know if I even trust myself to win games at the minute. The way that I'm playing... Mate, shut up. You're not giving me a chance to do it. I'm just going to skip. Skip the game. Please beat Bournemouth. Oh, fucking, I've lost to Bournemouth as well. Yeah, I think the game's going to sack me. Well, not me, Unai. Beat Leicester. Ble please beat Forest. Please. Yes, beat Forest. Thank God. 
Please have a scout report back. Right, I'm going to block all these offers now because it's just doing my tits in. The board wish to inform you your position is currently under review. Oh, they're going to sack me. I'm not going to get chance. If Unai, can Unai Emery last longer than me in real life? I would hope so because I've been absolute... Well, I've done well, but... I thought I did well. I swear I just blocked all the offers. I think I'm going to be sacked, lads. I've got the most clean sheets in the league as well. That's nuts. I've got the most clean sheets. I mean, I'm up to 7th. Pretty horrendous that they're going to get rid of me now. Youth player is unsettled. Who? Torres. He's up to a 58. Could promote. He's from Bolivia. No, no actually, no, sod him. He, he, I'm getting sick. These players' attitudes, man. Right, I'm just going to sign all these and see if this works. Has that done anything? Do I have to sign them to the first team, do you think? I mean, why why, why did the, the, the people who made this game think it was good to separate Youth Academy and Youth Scout? Keep them together. Did that complete the objective? No. If I sign them to the first team, it doesn't complete the objective. I am going to cry. Right, let's sign Ono. And see if it's gone up. Ah, oh, it doesn't count. Oh, that is fuck. That's outrageous. This game is so broken, man. As if that didn't work. That's ridiculous. That's so shit. Honestly, that is so shit. Oh, well. So, it actually wanted me to go in the transfer market and sign three Asian players. Ridiculous. Who the f, f wants to do that on their career mode? That's shit. That really is. I'm in seventh. 46 points. I'm only six points off the off for fifth place. If they sacked me, that would be really, really rough. That would be harsh, dude. <sighs> They're actually unreal. So basically, all them Japanese players can get released because it doesn't count. So dumb. Um, the only thing I didn't I didn't look for was um, yeah just gotta remove all them nice messages you know bye bye um, real life fans would be happy with 7th I know I know, but clearly on this game, they expect me to. Where did where did they expect me to finish? Oh no, I'm sorry, mate, but I used you. I did not want you, mate. Honest to God, I couldn't care less about you. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, I'm just gonna have to just hope that they don't sack me, pretty much. And if they do, it's it's game over. It's game over. Let's see how it goes. The only thing I can do is hope that we win games, basically. If we don't win games, then I'm sacked. We drew against Bournemouth, uh, Brighton, sorry. We beat Brentford. Bygar, I've become a leechy legend. What's going on, bro? Thank you for becoming a leechy legend. Appreciate that, my G. Big ups to you. Thank you for coming down to the channel. We've won a lot of games this month. We've won a lot of games this month. 
But big ups to Flyger, man. Thank you for becoming a um, member. I do. I think you might actually be the first one. <laughs> I don't think I've got any other members. But appreciate you becoming a member, bro. Really appreciate that, man. Big ups to you, man. Right, we've won quite a lot of games here, boys. We've won quite a lot of games. Buendia's got injured. Where are we in the league? We're sixth. We are sixth. We are two points. We've played an extra game than Chelsea. Wolves are fourth. If Wolves weren't having such a good season, we'd be top five. Mad. I'm going to save it. Yeah. But we're going to keep going. So, if we go to um, where we're at now, Chelsea, Everton, Southampton and Palace. Let's sim through towards the last game of the season. We drew against Chelsea. Yeah, man, I'm always on the Plat Bros channel. Yeah, I always see you on there, Flagger, man. So, big ups to you. Appreciate that, man. Thanks for enjoying my videos. Oh, I think I'm going to get sacked, lads. I don't believe it. My God, everybody's unhappy. I've never had a career mode like this. Where everybody, like almost everyone in the team is unhappy. It's crazy, dude. I feel like I've been harshly done by here, but I haven't been sacked. If they sack me at the end of the season, then that's on them. I beat Palace 3-0. What was our final league position, boys? What was our final league position? We finished sixth. How was that bad? I'm sorry. We finished sixth. Five points off of Chelsea in fifth. Wolves finished top four. I drew with them, remember? That was a tough game. No wonder that was a tough game. The season they had. They had. United won the league. City comes second. United run away with the league in the end. Liverpool third. Wolves fourth. Chelsea fifth. Villa sixth. Where was Arsenal? Ninth and Spurs were 10th. North London had an absolute nightmare. And relegated was Forest, Bournemouth and Southampton. Jesus. Well, well, well. Well, well, well. Right, standings. Let's have a look. And um, sixth is Europa League spot. I think, is that not fifth? Is sixth Conference League? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Liverpool won the FA Cup. Wow, you nearly got sacked as well. That's crazy, man. Man United won the double, the league and cup double. Carabao Cup, that is. Interesting. Super Cup was Real Madrid. The final is Liverpool, Real Madrid in Champions League. Man United could do a treble if they beat PSG. West Ham, Fiorentina in your, in your uh, conference league. Um, what was the other thing that I wanted to check? I did want to check player stats. Top scorer in the league was Liverpool. Uh, Liverpool was Salah with 28 goals in 38 games. Danjuma! What? Got 27 goals in 38 games. Jesus Christ. Wow. Wow. That is incredible. Watkins only got 12 goals. He was the problem, wasn't he? He was the problem. Danjima, bro. We need to bring in definitely Abraham, and I think this team will be solid. I'm really annoyed at that the Asian signings didn't work because that just completely balls me up, didn't it? That I've got to go to Youth Academy and get rid of all of them because I didn't want any of them. That's really annoying that he did that. Um, Blanchard has moved position, so you got. Clear back. I mean, I could try and train some of them up, but I think they're all going to be absolute crap, if I'm honest. I mean, look at his stats now. No, no, no. Release. Who's the other one? Uh, Yoshida. Release. Release, please. Okada. Absolutely not. And Sato. No chance. They're off. They're off ski. I also want to go squad hub and get rid of. Oh no! 
because he was just I'm just gonna literally release him okay well let's see if we get sacked that's all we can do now I don't think we will I think they would have already done it or I hope they would have that would have been I'll be fuming if they if they sack me now so many players have been unhappy dude Managing internationally like Japan or Jamaica would be interesting, I think. Yeah? None of these Japan players have been any good, though. The point, disappointing, because I've got... It's a five-star scout. It's been cool to have one good Japanese player. I've got it under control, Emmy. You need to shut your mouth. 67 overall. Bye, Ashley. Bye. You're a legend, as the chat has said, but... Bye, Ashley Young. Off your trot, lad. Off your pop. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. We did that. We did that one. We didn't do those two. Fair enough. They wanted us to finish Europa League. That's harsh. I think for season one, it should be finished top eight or finish top ten. Win the FA Cup. We balls that up. Fair enough. We didn't do that either. That one is a long term one. We can't really do that till next season. Oh, we're going to get the sack, and it's going to be so savage. It is going to be so savage, isn't it? Yep, they sacked me. That is absolute crap, isn't it? Imagine Aston Villa finishing in the top six and getting sacked. Imagine. Wow. Well, that is it. Unai Emery lasted no time at all. He did a very good job, but wasn't given the chance to uh, to show that. That was an absolute savagery. I mean, the game is pretty broken to sack me for that. It's pretty pretty disgraceful. I'm gonna let the chat catch up, but that is um, that's disappointing because I was gonna I was gonna have a lot of fun with that man. I am disappointed. I can't lie to you. I can't lie to you. That is, um, yeah, quite something. Quite something. Well, I'm sorry about that, lads. I thought I did a good job. I thought I was rebuilding the team. We've got Danjima. We've got Pau Torres in there. We've got Xavi Simmons. Jao Pedro. We've got a Youth Academy player who went out on loan who looked really good. We're finishing the top six. Things were looking up, but the Villa board looked down. And has sacked Unai Emery during his first season. Wow. Fuming. That is... I'm actually really pissed off. Because I was going to have a lot of fun doing that. That's insane. That is absolutely insane, dude. Yeah, it's nonsense, isn't it? It's absolute nonsense. Well, that's our, um, our Villa days done. Got off of the lead. I've got off of the Leeds job. That's nuts. That is nuts. But that wasn't the point of the career mode. The point was to do Aston Villa. I thought I did well. Clearly not. Um, thank you to everybody for coming to the stream today, by the way. I really appreciate you. I mean, everybody in the chat right now. So we've got uh, Matt W, Tom P, 1236, James Donaldson, Spade XG, um, Mini Mind Tuba, Figer, big ups to Figer as well. Welcome to Leechy Legend, first Leechy Legend. I've not got any um, members, so I really appreciate you becoming the first member, bro. Big ups to you for that, man. Yeah, thank you to everybody else. If I've missed your name, I'm sorry. Um, Adelude Bug Ten, sorry if I didn't pronounce that well. Um, J plays as well. Appreciate you coming by. Zario was in there earlier. Tom P. So big up to all of you guys. And um, Seth plays Warzone. Big ups to all of you guys, man. Thank you for coming by. Hope you enjoyed the stream. Sorry that it ended like that. Um, Dylan Johnson. Yeah, you've come at a bad time, bro. Just got sacked. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. I had a lot of fun tonight, though. So if you enjoyed the stream, please smash the like button. If you're watching it as a video and you enjoyed it, smash the like button. Subscribe if you're new. Watch all my other videos. Got Man United career mode. I'm going to be recording a new episode of that over the weekend. That should be out Saturday, Sunday time. 
I might do another live stream on the weekend, maybe on Sunday. If you want to do me to do another live stream, maybe I could do a different team. Or I could try again. I could come back and try Villa again, if you want me to do that. Just have to let me know. But, um, yeah, I appreciate all you guys coming along, man. And um, hope you have all of a very good night. It's half past ten, so I'm going uh, to gonna shoot off now. But, yeah, big ups to all of you guys. And uh, you take it easy. And as always, until next time, peace.